G'day everybody and welcome back for some more RVs at War with me and a creepy shadow peeking in over the corner of my screen. Where'd you go? I'm running away! Run away! <laughs> so... You last... can't find me. I am hidden. <laughs> last week, you built a giant... Um, thing? Exactly. That's exactly what I built. And I built a, a giant, giant um... thing with wheels. Yours is, yours is intended to kind of carry hydrogen. Mine's intended to mine ice. And we need to figure out how to connect the two of them so that we can go over to the ice lake and bring back fuel so that we can actually continue to bomb the base that we were attacking. Because we've run out of... We've run out of reasonably accessible ice around here. And yes, oh, you painted I... everything in... Well, beautiful what I would colors. think of as lolly colors. No, it's beautiful. Hmm. It's a thing. It's definitely a thing. If you don't like it, feel free to change it. <laughs> I feel like, like I'm not I'm letting you pull shot in another the back porpoise. If that happens. You're not letting me go with a porpoise. Why? What's wrong with white? I'm going to recolor this later. Meanwhile, finally, still not recolored. Yeah, because sometimes the white grows on you. Then please Kinda go like visit mold. the doctor, because that is not like... That is not supposed to happen. <laughs> I know, I know. <sighs> anyway, uh, connection. We need to connect our vehicles together. Uh, yeah, good luck with that. I need some scaffolding so I can actually climb up the top. That's uh, okay, everyone. So thank you so much, Jex, for fifty-two months. A month for every 52. week. Fifty-two or something. That's a very long time. Thanks, man. And also, thanks for coming up with better stream titles than I can. Um, <laughs> every time you do that. Thanks to Killjoy. Thank you for 17 months. Thank you, Kilo Golf, also for 17 months. And thank you, Talazen. Thank you for the five gift subs. And thank you, Gate, for 15 months. Thank you, El Bezidente, for subbing for this month. And thank you, Athelium, for 26 months. Uh, let's get some stairs. Oh, I'm not connected to the base. Let's go onto the base and get some materials. That's usually smart, yes. Yes. Thank you, Ophiuchus. Thank you for the gifts up as well. So much insanity is right at the start. Um. All right. Oh, it's right. The miner does not have any hydrogen. I was going to say, like, I'm just quickly going to do some mining, but... I can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're a little bit, um, a little bit not on the fuel. Okay, so I to dread to ask this, but is there anything I can do to help you? Uh, possibly. Oh no. Well, I mean, you could put the connection on your thing, so I don't have to do it. That would help. There's already a connection on top of my thing. No, I meant a thing to connect onto mine. I have to climb Aren't up. Aren't you going to connect to mine? Yeah, I, I am. I was being facetious. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, I do already have a connector on the top of my ship. I know. That's what you're... That's what I'm trying... That's what I'm supposed to be connecting to. Um... <laughs> I think the plan we said at the end of last week was I was going to build a rotor on top of one of the hydrogen tanks and have it spin across with a connector. Yeah. Uh, so, I guess I keep climbing. And push me away, apparently. Oh, right, also I was... Uh, there you go, that got me up there. I turn on the in-game music and suddenly it's like a holy music. 
Oh. Angelic song. Yeah. What? 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 There. That's weird. Hmm. What if instead I put a hinge on here and it just kind of flips over? If you make it a rotor, you might be able to spin the rotor fast enough and take off. <laughs> oh, I wish that worked. Okay. Well, do you though? <laughs> like, imagine the amount of clang that would happen when you were to spin a rotor really fast. Beyond the current levels, that is. No, but imagine if just spinning something fast created lift. Hmm. <laughs> so Thanks theoretically, the with that logic, if you have enough spinning lights, you will be able to go into space. Oh, you just kicked me in the head and kicked me off the ladder. You're welcome. Not thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Killer Golf, it feels like there might be some sarcasm there on... Um, the degree to which your wife loves it when you just sit and listen to us be idiots for a while. But uh, hopefully there's not, and hopefully uh... <laughs> she really does. Okay, that's good. I'm pleased. I am going with the hinge method, by the way. Okay. Uh, which means I need to drive around so that I can figure out where I need to be to basically bonk you on the head with this your ship on the head with this. It already has a bump. Uh, yeah. I'm trying to work out when you're landed like that, what the block heights are. I think it needs to come down two. That sounds about right. Also, I'm going to go into the cockpit <gasps> that oh! actually has the control set up. Oh, wait, I know what I can make make oh dear yes. oh the drill jiggling so reassuring uh I don't know if we need to reach the base with that as well but if we do we can always just well uh, this rover isn't sure intended to come back out. to the base well, intention is not the same as, well, <laughs> something that might happen in the future. Yeah. Hmm. It's always good to plan for that possibility. Yeah, arguably. Uh, we are playing with a mod that gives hydrogen mass. Yes. So our tanks weigh a lot more. Indeed. Much to Shadow's dismay. Because this wasn't hard enough without jetpacks already. I did, however, do one concession to simplicity. Uh, as I mentioned to Shadow just before we went live, I've added a mod that gives us a smaller antenna in the hope that it will allow my missile to print because it might have a different attachment point. That is more weldable because there's something really weird about why that isn't weldable. Yeah. Basically, a workaround for a book. Yeah. Effectively. Oh, we need the fuel first, so let's deal with that. Yay. I think. The fun part about this process is going to be figuring out how to weld this thing up. So I'm going to need scaffolds to get... Oh wait, you've got a welder ship, don't you? Yeah. Excellent. I do love how you used to be so against welding ships, but when there is a welding ship, you're like, oh, welding ship. Oh no, I'm against them when I have a jetpack. But when I don't have a jetpack, sure, sure. they're actually, they can be quite handy. I'm not, yeah. I'm not officially against welding ships. I just am perpetually disappointed by them. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, Maybe you're just not building them right. 
Whoa. Shots fired. Yes. But that is like a genuine thing. Like, what disappoints you about the welders? Like, is it the range? Is it the speed? It's the fact that they're slower than hand welders. You just need more welders. But then it takes so long to load other. them up, and then there's all these other things. They're... And there's Izzy's that can do that for you. You can automatically load them up. You can make yeah. it very big. And then, then you need to load them with the right stuff for what you're particularly welding, which takes a long time. Just switch with Izzy's because it's you messing with... You can use Build Planner. Custom Build Planner doesn't do that properly. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Uh, but yeah, it, they're just... It's so hard to engineer them to make them work as well as a jetpack and a suit. Yeah, okay, that, that is fair. It is more effort. And it's... And then to adapt them to it, it's just like... Ugh. I really want these things to be better, but they just really, really aren't. Uh, so are you going to weld this thing up for me, or am I going to have to do it by hand? Oh, was that what you're implying with I have a welding ship? <laughs> or... Yeah, it, it was. Rude. Uh, I shall momentarily. Oh yeah, good point. The connector does need to be pointed up. What? Oh, I just did something dumb, it's alright. Uh, normal. Ow. Rude. I'm being picked on today. I'm sorry, I... People I was hanging out with earlier got me in one of those moods. <laughs> oh, sure. Blame it on the other people. On earlier. Yeah, I am, because they were bullying me. <laughs> Calling me short. I'm rude. I mean... Hey, Dibs. If you stood next to Kapak and I, you'd probably look short. But that doesn't mean you are. Yes, Kanita. I'm also kind of talking about you. You are one of those people. And yes, I am calling you out. Because I know you would do the same. Yes, yeah, Salmon God, I <gasps> completely agree with that. If you're welding up individual things by hand is faster. With the exception of stuff like jump drives or uh, refineries. But for both of those, especially refineries, because you've already got conveyoring to it, uh, just slapping down a fixed welder is arguably better than a welder ship. Um, but if you're doing like a chunk of large, uh, of large grid heavy armor or something like that, totally worth having um, a welder ship for it. Yeah. Although there is one thing missing. What is the definition of a short person? Um, I'd, I'd go Not with... Not being able to reach the upper shelves, I'd say. <laughs> Personally, I'd just go with the statistical definition. Are you shorter than the average person? What's the fun in that? Because I'm not one by that definition. <laughs> But if I was playing professional basketball, I would be. Anyone who is shorter than yourself. Yeah. I mean, that, that is fair. Uh, what am I doing? Adam. Adam. That hey, is a... Um, that connector looks a little bit gloomy. It's alright. It'll be fine. Whoa, 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 easy there. It's starting to feel like I'm riding a bull. 
with the way the ship is flying. Is it because it's um, got a lot of thrust in unexpected directions? No, it's like that rubber banding a little. Oh, you mean like the like it is when I walk across the piston bridge? <laughs> Not as extreme, but similar. Hmm. Well, it's more stressful when you're in a vehicle, and it does that. It's bad enough when you're Especially in your suit, when I was... when you're in a vehicle. It's... Especially when flying above loaded hy... Well, I'm not sure if they're loaded, but hydrogen tanks. Oh, yeah, I shall hydrate. Ooh, that was close. Also, I was building a mobility scooter, Dibs. You were building a mo... We were... <laughs> Wait, where were you building that? Uh, don't worry about it. Are you building a replacement also, for my Tricom? No? Hmm. Feels like you might be. It's not a replacement. It's a personal vehicle. Because I feel like we might, or at least I might need some mobility for going back and forth between the ice base and the ship. Oh, you're planning on build, you're building something to bring you back and forth. Yeah, that's what I meant with mobility scooter. That's literally what it is. <laughs> wait, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeez. Huh. Someone really put or you in a I feisty being... mood today. Cool. I can, uh, well, chill it down a little. <laughs> You're all good. I do like fucking fun at you. It's a path personal aerial vehicle. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Uh, oh, that's a good one. I was not planning on using a script for flipping this thing over. No, I was just going to use a simple reverse the rotor, reverse the hinges command. A game. What? You fly fast for someone on high pink. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't you? After the number of mining ships I crashed in the collector? No. <laughs> okay, okay. But there is a difference between <laughs> flying a welding ship in open air and flying a mining ship in a tunnel close to a connector. Or close to a connector, I mean. I mean, you have a point. That is also why I'm very glad that the antenna is gone from there. Also, that was my normal flying. Inspirable set fast. What are you doing? Uh, what? <laughs> I just see. That connector smacking against your vehicle. It didn't smack against anything. Looked like it from my end. Nah. Didn't smash at all. I just oh. realized it was going a little bit too fast for me potentially um, okay. patting your ship on the head. Hmm. Also, please unmove it right now. <laughs> I'm so giving it a don't do uh, this. little wood. Where are you? Where are you right now? <laughs> Where is your seat? I have a grinder. <laughs> Here you go, I'll bring it over to you. That, okay, that's it. I'm not no, no, please, anymore. please just finish it. There's one more left. <laughs> mm. I am going to hold it up like this, though. I, I don't trust you. Is it done? There. Yay. I think so. Okay. Can I weld up this hinge part though? I think I welded just it up. Okay. This feels more appropriately paced for not breaking both it and your ship. I swear, if that thing goes blammo, I'm gonna be mad. 
Uh, you need to go forward a little. But I think I, but that's it, pretty dang good considering it was a blind adjustment. Yeah. It's really good. Uh, it's only a half block off, so stop. There you go. Yeah. Sweet. Did you turn down the connection strength to zero or very minimal? No. Oh. <laughs> You'd think I'd have learned that lesson, but no. Because I I'm so often the host, so I so rarely need to worry. You say that, but I've been playing some single player and um. I really Lamo. don't blow up many connectors in single player. Was I needing to connect to you now, or this was just for later, yeah? Uh, I think it was for later, yeah. Yeah, alright. Um, off to the ice lake I go, and I guess you're going to build your mobility scooter and then join me? Yep. Okay. Whee! Do you have a direction for the ice lake? Cobalt. So let me actually get you a proper... I've got, I've got a cobalt. Off I go. I only need to add one more thing to the scooter. Now connect and lift Shadow's ship with it. I possibly could. Please don't. Please um, don't. <laughs> but I think she's locked to the voxel. That I am, and for good reason. A direct connection, Gren, would be almost impossible to line up without breaking something here. So having something that extends out is a lot safer. Also more fun. I just be glad Shadow isn't using a welding ship to recolor this for what I'm at it. I mean, if we have a look at what uh, rainbow vomit shadow put on this last week. I think I don't think there's much that could be done. Wow! And you call me feisty. <laughs> if you're feisty, you are just yeah. I was gonna say something, but I uh, brain farted in the middle of that. <laughs> <laughs> sure thing. Ah. Uh... Uh, you're correct, Insect Lunar. There is a cliff between the Cobalt and the Ice. I think if I head more south, I should find the vague path that might allow me to get down there. Otherwise, Shadow's Shift... Shadow's Shift? Shadow's Shift... <laughs> ...is going to have to carry me down to the Ice Lake. My mobility scooter, I hope... Is not the ship you're referring to? No. Your hydrogen carrier. Good. Because this thing might be tiny, whoa, whoa, but it whoa, doesn't whoa, whoa, have whoa, whoa, that whoa, whoa, much power. What the heck is going on? Why am I doing... mm -hmm. Oh man. Um, I think I need softer wheels. Oh. Softer suspension, that is. Oh. Oh, I see what you're doing. What you should not be doing, I should say. Let me just quickly play something. Oh, this is here. very rough terrain. Uh, at least at this scale. It's never re it's never comforting when your ship when your ship when your rover man, <laughs> word finding difficulties on this end too. It's contagious, Shadow. Oh yeah, sure, blame me. No, not blaming, blaming you, just, not blaming you, blaming whatever disease it is you've managed to contract that's internet transmissible. Um, there we go. I thought you had a good antivirus. Nah, I just use Windows Defender. That's what I said, you have a good antivirus. Actually, that, arguably these days that probably is your best option. <laughs> any I other swear, antiviruses, like any antivirus I had, Felt like a virus, and I constantly pop up, like, "Hey, do you want to extend your subscription? And it's hey, true. do you want our extended package? No, I think I'm perfectly content just not having this antivirus at all." And hey, don't worry that our uh, that our original owner is living on an island in the Caribbean, so that he can't be done for tax fraud. 
<laughs> Isn't that one of them? I feel like that's one of them. I don't know, but it does sound like one of them. <laughs> hey, Canada uh, acknowledges my fake memories. Fake Caffeine. memories? Oh, perfect. If he's... Oh, hello. I think that's an unknown signal. Oh, it did not survive. <laughs> uh, I just watched one of your unknown signals just completely annihilate itself. Oh. Saw a shadow of a parachute appear, and then... Just this unknown signal just plow into the snow at a hundred and something meters a second. No, also, I, I don't need convincing to call Splitsy a Doom Fox or nobody. Don't worry. Guess he knows he is. It's so hard to remember to use that as an insult. Because I feel I like always it's default to Booper. I feel like it's um, the time when you'd use it is when someone's being deliberately obstructive. Mm-hmm. Like somebody somebody blows up your ship. That's a doom foxel. And I can't think of another example right now. The way Capac pilots a fighter ship is being a doom voxel. No, that's a player made weapon. <laughs> I mean, he's. You're true. <laughs> but he's also trying to be a Doom Voxel for the fighter, for the things he's fighting against. Yeah, true. Also, I will be over there shortly as well. I'm just recharging right now. Yeah, no worries. I'm still not at the ice lake. Oh, good. There's a cliff I have to figure out how to get down to. So I'm just going to keep driving around until I find a more reasonable path. Or I run into an enemy and get destroyed. Either way. Sounds like fun on a bun. Could you press Ctrl and B for a moment then? Oh. You expect me to rebuild this if it gets destroyed? Are you not planning to? Um. Uh, yeah, maybe. Uh, I'm kind of climbing a mountain, but I'm sort of driving around on mountain tops trying to figure out how to get down into a valley. But I'm not sure I'm safe to drive on the ridge line, so I can't actually see what it's like on the other side of it. Means I'm gonna, gonna have to periodically keep driving up to the ridge line and oh. looking over the edge. Also, I gotta say, I want a seat like this. The control seat looks very comfy. If you have good posture. Yep. Though if you have to look down at your hands, it looks like it'll give you really bad posture. I wonder how it would be to play Elite Dangerous in a chair like that. Because it would seem very realistic. Shadow, of course, is okay. staring at herself in a... Um, one of the... Whatchamacallits. The, the original... The first of the open cockpit seats. Where is the small it? grid. I think it was. Might be smart to actually get the GPS. I think I can drive down this way. You just need some wrong way up style arms to swim down the cliff. There it is. Somehow I don't think Shadow would be on board with welding those up for me. You say that. Those were surprisingly effective, though. Like, and very Waste and I managed to work together well enough to get some decent speed. Up and down those horrendous, craggy cliffs and mountains. I 
Hooray! It looks like I chose the correct path. It's quite steep, but it is smooth. Um, why you meant to bring your big ship? I thought you said I should bring my mobility scooter. I thought you were going to attach your mobility scooter to the big ship. What? No. What? Why not? Then you could leave your big ship here while your mobility scooter goes back to base. That's what I thought it was for. The big ship needs more grebling. No, the, the big ship needs to come over here and grab some hydrogen soon, because I should have a bunch collected. Ah, it's fine. Although I do have to figure out my um, drill rig and stuff. Exactly. I don't think that's going to take long. Hi. Hi. Comfy? Very. Feels a bit cold. Uh, okay. What do I want? I want to... Have these in a group. That's right. This was, this was the lollipop, not the... Rainbow Unicorn. You have a Rainbow Unicorn ship? Well, that's what I named this in the blueprint. This is the Rainbow Unicorn. Oh. Okay. We have extend. We have tracked we have toggle block on and off then i just need to set the pistons to have a nice slow speed minus 0 0.07 i think that'll be all right i should have done that for both at the same time is that my top area i think so Oh, 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 <laughs> Not do I this. don't know if that's a yes or a no. Uh, sorry, what was your question? Oh, never mind. Just wondering how to do English. How do we do English? Ariel. A E R I A L. Yes. Cool. I also live in a country where it is aeroplane rather than airplane. But you're just weird. And I mean that in a good way. Sure. Oops, that's the wrong thing. How are we looking for ice? Uh oh, I'm getting stoned. I need an ejector. You need a pooper? Yeah. Where? Oh, I might need you to. Oh. I don't have the resources to build that here. I shall be right back. Uh, yeah, we'll need stuff for a sorter and and a connector. I don't even want to think about that, Nuki World. Oh, wait. Am I just getting stoned now? Yes. Retract! Oh, I love this thing so much. <laughs> oh, no. I think I need to set my pistons to have a maximum extent that uh, stops them from actually getting down to the stone depth. Or only barely scrapes the stone depth. Okay, now I kind of understand why you fly the trichum the way you do. 
Yeah, see? <laughs> it's fun. I mean, you don't have a passenger, sure. I know I'm not on the ice. I was starting on the edge so that I could get the very edge of the ice as I move forward. Uh, do you want conveyor bits as well, or just a sorter and, uh... Uh, whatever you can manage to carry, but the sorter and the connector are obviously the important parts. Because we could just whack that on the side somewhere. I'm aware I have a connector, I just don't want to use that connector for the <laughs> as my ejector. I want to build a separate one to eject all the stone. Uh, the main reason not to use the one on the top of the like the, the connector as my ejector is having to mess with the settings for the sorter anytime I need to offload stuff to Shadow. Because bleh. Messing with sorter settings is always such a pain because you actually have to go into the menu to do it. Where do you want the stuff? Um... I reckon. That's maybe an important one ship. of the sides. We can get up here, so let me just. No. I do love how it's balanced as well. Wait, where are you? Oh, you're on the side, I can't... Oh, wait, I can't get there. Uh... I was about to say, like, there's scaffolding here. This is the side you should be able to go yeah, to. Yeah, I ran up the wrong side. Like, the left-right wrong side? Uh, the stuff is in my seat. Not sure if you can access it from there, but... I can. You have some more stuff as well, so let me quickly... There you go. That should be one connector, one sorter, and three conveyors? I think. Either two or three. No planner was being weird. Yeah. Again. No planner does be weird sometimes. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Can now eject the stone. Hey, this thing already came in handy. The fact that it doesn't even take a minute for me to go to the base. Uh, there is some validity to suggesting that I should instead just keep... That I should process this stone and eject gravel instead. And slap mm. a refinery on here. But I think over time I'll end up with way too much junk on here that I'll end up ejecting stuff that I've processed anyway. Because I don't think we'll end we up transferring those materials back and forth. Because we don't need it at base. I mean, I guess I technically can pull it into my ship when we do an offload, but that's just extra effort that's unnecessary. Yeah, we got so much back at home, we just don't need it. It'll be, while it is nice to have those things for, um, a little bit of... There's a sub-sandwich? Or a sub-sandwich? I don't think no. a sub-sandwich no, no, no. made it, out of iron and... It's it's a component. It's available as a filter on the sorter. What? Yeah. I, I think he lost it. No. No, I did not. I am correct. It's really there. <laughs> Are you sure you didn't lose it? Like, Are you okay? Oh, it's really there. 
Probably not the best side to uh, go past, but... What are you even talking about? When a sword are you, say? What's up, Sandwich? Shadow. Um... I think you might be in the dominant cockpit. <laughs> oh, too bad! Beneath stone oh, yeah, is Sub Sandwich. Sub -sandwich. I am no longer in the cockpit. You might want to increase your friction. Nah. She'll okay. be right. You say so. What I do want to do is hop off. And see how close this gets to the bottom of the ice. Probably don't want to get hit in the head with one of those. That might hurt. Yeah, and uh, I was looking at those and I was like, mm, I should watch out here. Probably doesn't need to go quite that far. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's not too bad. Here we go. Oh, I just thought of a name for that ship. What ship? For that rover. Slush puppy. No, oh, because of all the ice. Ice, the colors. Mm. Can't say anything about the taste, but. I should hope not. Imagine with how and icy this so thing <laughs> is, if you'd licked it, your tongue would be stuck to it. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking as well. Not that that's the only thing that would stop me, though. Oh, I need that. But there are sub sandwiches, and I've built a quick delivery scooter. Uh, yeah. Also, I have eighteen percent hydrogen on my two tanks already. Nice. So we've got more than a third of a full tank. And how is your ice situation? I assume you're gaining quite a lot. I mean, I've got a lot of O2H2 gens, and they're all—they all have ice in them. I don't haven't accumulated any ice separately to that. Though. Okay. All the ice I have is being processed, or is waiting to be Ooh. processed in them. Oh, that's scary. I think I can add this to the main hot bar. You can probably drive a bit more forward the next time. Um, it's sort of tricky because if I want to not collect too much stone, uh, I don't drill quite as deep, so I need to be near the nearer to the bottom of the curve to make sure I get all the ice. Fair enough. Like you can see, I've left the tiniest little strip there. Not that it matters, the, not that I need to collect every single little bit of ice, it's just... You're wasting the ice! How dare I? Wasteful! Wasteful! It's not 100% efficient! And it's not gonna be, because I need to have the ability to drive across this thing. This course time. We should have just made a huge spider that would crawl across the ice lake. Scraping off every layer of ice. Why would that be a spider? 
That's more like it's a snail. more like referring to the legs. Have you just been playing with the spider in Factorio again? I haven't actually. I haven't gotten that far yet in my current playthrough. Oh, there we go, now I'm accumulating ice. Also, you know how dangerous it is for you to mention Factorio, right? I know. Okay. I like to play with fire. Well, then you shall get burned soon. Speaking of fire, 25% hydrogen. Hey, NCT. Did you just say 25%? 25% hydrogen. Oh. Uh -huh. Thanks, Big Dog Gaming. Say. <laughs> Prime sub. Uh, Nuki World, I can't tell you why we both thought about licking vehicles, but um, I blame Capac. I, I have to consider that these things Capac. might happen. But also, who's next to be blamed? Steve. Blame the cobalt, indeed. <laughs> I see that, Kanita. I see that. Uh, Yosh, I'm honestly not sure if a cluster munition with multiple small grid large tanks would be more or less effective than what we're doing. Uh, I genuinely don't know. I've no I've never really properly compared the explosive power of a small grid large tank versus a large grid large tank and had any sort of way to compare the, them in a useful manner. Initially Shadow and I thought we'd only get a single strike so we were going with as big an explosion as we could manage. Now that we're getting more now that we know that we can get quite a few strikes if we'd known that from the start, we probably would have gone with small grid missiles. Because we could have just yeah. targeted them at the turrets and hit the turrets. But we probably would have missed. So having a bigger explosion is probably better anyway. Because it's quite hard it's to hit satisfying. the target at 250 meters a second. If you're going straight down, it's not that difficult. It's still difficult. It's doable, though. Doable, but difficult. For us. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> uh. Okay. This is going well. Got over 500 tons of ice. Still waiting to be processed. I'm probably gonna have to... I reckon I'll get both cargoes full. Before these Coming tanks fill up. Oh. Trying not to fly this thing as my bike. <laughs> oh, I'll bike my scooter. You look like a bird. Thanks. Because the, the angle you were approaching, I could only see... Like if you look at it from the front or the back, it looks like the hydrogen tanks on the side are curved wings. <laughs> what I could see of it anyway. Uh, suggestion. Land on the snow, not on the ice. I'm just trying to get lower. Jai, sure. <laughs> uh, just a bit more grip. For me. I know the ice is perfectly flat, but yeah, having a bit more grip is nice. Actually, uh, how would you like perfect. me to orient myself? Uh, doesn't really matter. Because I've got to flip the hinge over, so you, i got to reverse up to you. Yeah, exactly. So I should probably orient myself like this, so you're not in the hole when you try to offload or being burned from, by my thruster. Yes, that. Uh, you've got two hydrogen tanks, yeah? Uh, I think I have one. But I oh. can swap out the cargo for a hydrogen tank. 
We've only got one. Then I need to get to 50% fuel before I offload to you, I guess. Yep. But should I switch to a double hydrogen tank setup I then? I think so. I think so. Um, you could probably okay. do that and then come back if you want. I should have brought my mobility scooter. <laughs> I did suggest that having it on board your ship would be useful. Although, I do have an excuse to do something fun now. Bye, Splits! Woohoo! Oh, Shadow's going to orbit. Kinda. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I am in orbit. Whoops. Yeah, if we got some silver, we could totally do a gravity launch. On here. <laughs> oh wait, More no, the gravity is too high. Planetary gravity is too high. We'd have to do a piston launch. Or a spin launch. I approve of the spin launch. Just yeet the RV into space. <laughs> because it, if you could get something up to 250 meters per second going straight up, you probably would make it. It's only 0.8 Gs. Don't think there'd be enough time for it to slow us down to stop us. Though, that is a stack of 25... No, wait. That's a stack of 50 pistons working together if we do it as a piston launch. That will be very fun to set up. Tedious, but fun. Did I leave a Doom Voxel or did I get rid of it? I think I cleaned it up. Well, almost filled one of my large cargo containers with ice. This requires a lot of babysitting, but it's really quite effective. Yeah. Oh, I have a stupid idea. What if we automate this process? Uh, what part of this process do you see being automated? Uh, the transfer of the hydrogen from your drill rig to the base. So basically, you offload into the thing and then the thing flies back when it's full. Upon the press of a button, that is. I still don't trust large grids flying themselves. Fair enough. There's just... I've watched too many small grids being, like, flying themselves that just bump things a little bit. The amount of force there is from a, the extra mass of a large grid just makes me wince every time I think about it. And it's also an explosive large grid. That is also true. And thank you... <laughs> Thank you, Grant, for reminding me about turning my engines on. Wait, my engines are on, right? Yep, they're on. Why does it say I've still only got four minutes of power? No, oh, whatever. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I've launched things with pistons at the 100 meter per second speed limit. It's just going up to 250 is a lot more. Mm hmm. Okay. And stop. Oops. Wrong button. Uh, are the batteries gaining power? Fully recharged in nine hours. Sweet. Uh, 
Okay, I need to set the wheels to be stronger because they're starting to sag something fierce. Oh, that is not pleasant on the eyes. Oh. No, it's not. Some, uh, that looked like the sort of funkiness you get with DLSS when it gets confused by like clouds. Yeah. Ah! Would using the base's large amount of hydrogen engines not be faster than a few on the rover? Uh, the few on the rover. Do you mean, do you mean the O2H2 generators, Intecolano, or do you mean the engines? Because the engines on this are literally just to power this. That's their purpose. Uh, the O2H2 gens on the base, obviously, are, con are converting ice to hydrogen. And I guess Shadow could have used the cargo container and taken back ice. Which may have been faster, but I forgot about that at the time. Oh, you say that now. I know. I saw you finish the hydrogen tank. That's why I thought I'd bring it up. When it would hurt the most. <laughs> Uh, no, honestly, I just didn't think about it until I saw you finishing it and I'm like, oh, oh. Should I say this? Nah. But now it's been mentioned in chat? Yeah. You can be a jerk sometimes, you know that? <laughs> yes. Um, It had been said in your chat, too. Yeah, but it's from Kanita, so... But I may or may not be holding a grudge. While the ice... <laughs> while, while the hydrogen does have mass with the mods we're using, the hydrogen has less mass than the ice. Does that make no, it better? doesn't matter because I did build this thing um, for more thrusters. Also, I am overshooting. I am going into space. Help! <laughs> did you add a hydrogen tank or did you replace your cargo with a hydrogen tank? Replace. Replace. Yeah, I do drill know, faster just than I process. I guess something that sh we could do is, like, over time, Shadow could bring mm, materials yeah. for... Actually, if Shadow did bring me the parts for a basic refinery and an assembler, then I could just slowly use some stone to add on extra O2H2 gens and extra engines so this thing can run itself longer. Are you doing that on purpose? What? Saying those things when I am not in the... Like, when either I've already done my refitting, or when I've just arrived at your location. I'm just saying them when I think of them. <sighs> think faster! <laughs> or slower. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> It's one of those days. It is. Hmm. Oh, thanks There's guys no for giant answering bending. the question about where and what this is. Huh. Uh, I will soon have both my cargo containers completely full of ice. Nice. I'm not even halfway, uh, close to halfway across the ice lake. Uh, just be careful about this hole here. You'll be all we'll get stuck in it. Yeah, that is problematic. I have an idea. Are you gonna try and build a platform there? Yes. Oh dear. Here. What would you rather drive into it? Uh, no, I was just because I was going to be full soon. I was going to abandon oh. this pass. But yep, go for it. <clears throat> Do it. Hey, climb.
Okay, I'm actually out this time. That lined up pretty well. I mean, I'll need another row, but that lines up pretty well. I think I might get two or three more plungers down. I agree, JRL. I don't have to be a completionist, but it's probably best that I have that Shadow does this anyway, just in case. Yeah, it is a safety measure. And that way you can drive forwards as well instead of having to go backwards. Or turn. Yeah. Oh, right, actually, no, because I can't turn straight away anyway, can I? I have to go fully forwards out of the. Yeah, no, I'm glad you did that. You are absolutely correct, Shadow. Thank you. That was the only smart way to do it. Farming sim coming in handy in Space Engineers. <laughs> I mean, the game that's probably come in the most handy in Space Engineers, for me, Euro Truck Simulator. My obsession with building trailers on things, just because I love watching, I love in Space Engineers, the way rovers look, the way the wheels conform to the terrain, they move with it, and then the natural ways that trailers conform to that as well. There's just something so immensely cool about watching them drive, and I just can't help myself but do it all the time. <laughs> what did you oh, oh. <laughs> nice jump onto the ladder there oh oh and then the game almost lagged me off that would have been so sad <laughs> oh. Um, I, I, Loan, I don't agree that SnowRunner is great for that too. It might be in single player. Ooh. <laughs> they mentioned the game. Ooh. Yeah. I'm surprised that word isn't blacklisted yet. Nah. Uh, it's, um, much as I have expressed my frustrations with SnowRunner, it, I, I really don't get that irked when people bring up things that used to f that have frustrated me in the past. It's just like, eh, yeah, it's annoying. It was an experience, and nothing more. It's always the games that have the greatest potential that frustrate the most. No, oh, Shadow Wolf, thanks so much for continuing the gift sub. I think that's why people are... Like, it's one of the things that shows that your game has passionate followers, is that people get really angry about it. And people get really angry about Space Engineers. But hurt, yeah. Oh, another game people dare mention. But it probably shouldn't. In this game, we're both uh, pretty against. <laughs> yeah, Shadow's Shadow's not a fan of No Man's Sky either. No, I've had horrible experiences with it, and I refuse to play it because of it. Something, something, free refunds later. And hey, crazy! Hey, at least you got it refunded. Uh. <laughs> well, were you able to play the game? Uh, yeah. I'm so sorry to hear that. 
<laughs> Did you ever watch any of that? I don't think so. Uh, I enough. think I might have, but it might have been too long ago. Yeah, that's quite understandable. Do you, know, uh, do you know what? I As I think about it more, my experience with No Man's Sky was what I... It felt very similar to when I'm forced to use someone else's Apple product. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> That's vicious. As a, as a staunch PC and Android user, being forced to use an Apple product is confusing, awkward, and frustrating. Especially when it, you're being asked to use it to fix something. Hey, Midnight or Night. Um, that's that's yes, how I that's, that's how No Man's Sky made me feel. Yeah, that that sounds horrible. The, so the, what happened I, to the drills? I think that's my best way to articulate it. Oh. Hey, I need to fix the drills real quick. What do you mean? What happened to your drills? There we go. Fix. Oh, the one of them. Colors were all wrong. There. Yeah. How dare they? Unacceptable. <laughs> Tommaso just said, hey, I'm a PC and Android user and I've enjoyed No Man's Sky. Although I'm not saying you're wrong either. <laughs> yeah, it just does things in its own very peculiar way that some people somehow like, but for me, it just, it just hits a nerve. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I do have the ability to play No Man's Sky because of a uh, shared library with a friend who does own it, but he owns, like, many games. But yeah, um, I have been considering giving it a proper go, but also I'm like, I, I don't even want to install it. <laughs> like, I, don't, I don't want to waste my time on waiting for that game to install. <laughs> Uh, there's so many there are so many games out there that you can have so much joy with fighting against a game that frustrates you just doesn't seem to be worth your time i think yeah and for a less comedic opinion about no man's sky like from what i saw about no man's sky is that it's doing things that other games i do own and have enjoyed can do but better for example the flying in no man's sky i think i'd rather play elite dangerous and with the mining, I think I'd rather play Astroneer instead. But then again, that is not from experience, because I never got to experience the game. <laughs> anyway, thanks for coming to my TED talk. <laughs> yes. Uh, let's flip. And for building, you have Tetris. <laughs> uh. Tetris, the OG building survival game. I love how that is actually applicable. Disturbingly so. Uh. Oh. It's fine. I see sparks coming between the connectors. It's fine. Your tank's on stockpile. I will do that now. Um, like an I, while it shrouded has some really cool things about building. I would still come back to Space Engineers for pure building joy. Um, for building... Um, I'm full. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Keep in mind that this is also a hydrogen flyer, so oh, I right, do need so a you little bit of hydrogen to fuel. fly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Alright, I guess I'll just... 
stay here and wait for you to come back after you've emptied most of your tanks. I guess you just need to see uh, how much you use in flying back so that you can keep that much. Yeah, so the thing is, I'm kind of tempted to refit this to a Atmo flyer because I have too much <laughs> hydrogen thrust. Like, hang on. Yeah, I know. But the trouble is, if you refit uh, Atmo and you launch yourself to space, you're not coming back. Maybe that's what I want. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, sorry, sorry. Wow. Uh, uh, I really am in a feisty mood. My apologies. Um, okay, let's see. So, yeah. In, oh. Enshrouded's building system is really cool, and I'm actually keen oh, to right. mess around with it more. But I'd still say Valheim's allows for more freedom, because it's not cube-based. Though the cube-based system and the really cool ways that Enshrouded's building interacts with each other allows, uh, does give it some nuances, so I think I can see how people could argue that Enshrouded or Valheim are the best for... Uh, non-futuristic building but i reckon space engineers is the best for <sighs> if you're a, the best building game because of the physics interactions so i'm not entirely sure about valheim like i love the building mechanics but yeah i'm just talking explicitly yeah. building i'm just talking yeah, yeah purely yeah. building Mecha other stuff ignoring just pure building valheim yeah. is honestly one of the best building games out there uh and enshrouded has some things that make it stand out which is really cool. Uh, but I, from what I've felt of it so far, I still think from a pure building perspective, uh, Valheim is better. Yep. Fair. There Having we go. said that, I, have success I am super dogs. happy for a game that has tiny little cubes. Because I love building <laughs> in tiny little cubes. <laughs> Of course they do. Where would I place Minecraft in that ranking? Oh, with building games. Why do I hear her um, thrusters? I don't know. Uh, it happens sometimes in assertive acquisitions as well, where I can hear TFEs. It's off-putting. Yeah, I've been hearing it on some multiplayer things I've been doing as well. Yeah. I mean, it's good to know that the other person is still in a flying ship. <laughs> but... The weird part about it, though, <laughs> is this is a dedicated server. It's not like I'm host. It makes more sense in AA when these weird huh. things happen because I'm host. But this is a dedicated. I shouldn't be hearing anything from you. Wow. Tell me like... how you really feel. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Yeah, it's a weird bug. That's for sure. It's real weird. Oh, you reckon it's an admin thing, Chilla? Yeah, it could be. Why would it be? I mean, if you're... If we're in a situation where you can hear my stuff, I could demote you and see. Uh, sure. I'm... I, I don't think I'm able to be demoted. This thing is so agile when empty. Yeah, I can hear... Wait, if I get... Oh, I know what the thing is. You were connected to this grid. Oh. As soon as I got out of the cockpit, I stopped hearing it. Oh. Yeah, that might do it. It's still... Sound-wise, is treating us as though we're part of the same grid. Uh, Shadow, any chance you could align yourself so that my cockpit lines up between your two side thrusters? Where you land? You mean like this? Yeah, perfect. Thank you. We should probably just make a landing pad here or something. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we could build like a hydrogen storage facility that I just drop off this stuff to if you wanted to work on that, but... Or if we want to work on that together. But I feel like we're sort of 
making base number 12 by doing that? Yeah, like what I'm thinking is like a simple connector landing pad and then a wind turbine so I can recharge here as well. Because that is the one thing I'm not getting an opportunity to do. Well, I mean, and you're that way be I can always be aligned. This time, because I've only got 41% fuel in my tanks. I have 6% in two tanks, so... Yeah, so I'm not going to be able to fill you up entirely. That's fine. Far from it. But in regards to your question, Midnight of Nights, it highly depends. Like, are we talking modded Minecraft or vanilla Minecraft? What was the question? Okay. Um, in regards to building games. Like, uh, being able to rebuild builds and such. Building bases. I think you gotta call it... Vanilla Minecraft if you're comparing. I'd argue that Minecraft is Because otherwise you gotta specify which mod. Yeah, that's fair. And that just gets... That... <laughs> That's yep. that's like a whole year long discussion. We want a momentum, chipped, chisels and bits. Uh, yeah, this goes on and on. Uh, but vanilla for pure building aesthetics. Oh, I am going to assume the most recent version. Seems fair. Um. There's a lot you can do in Minecraft when you understand the way to manipulate the blocks to do what you want them to do. But there's always, for me at least, that feeling of something missing. Having played so many thousands of hours of Space Engineers where things move and move in believable ways. Even using Create didn't bridge that gap enough for me. Mm-hmm. Well, I tried my best. Not a criticism of you at all. Shadow. No, no, I, I didn't take it as a criticism, don't worry. Um, I think... I think it's going to take a lot for me to side with a different game over Space Engineers when it comes to building. Yeah. And I'm going to be constantly looking for something that's got something unique or special to it. And that's, I think, what's most important. Like... And Shrouded has something really special with its building stuff. The way that it's two different, like that it's multiple different block types interact with each other is really cool. Uh, they add little extra details and once you've learned how those details work and can manipulate them to your advantage, I think you can get some really cool stuff going on with it. Um, especially, like you can see it early on where you just build something, uh, build a stone wall and then put a wooden roof on it that sticks out a little bit and you get these extra little, I don't know what they're called in architectural terms, but you get little extra bits of stone that stick out that look like they're supporting the timber above it. The way that when you Ooh. carve out a window, it's not a square, it carves out a little, little angled pieces at the top. Little modules. Like, they've, they've put some serious care into that, and I think that's a system that would be cool to see in other settings. Yeah. But I think to answer the question, if we're talking like... I guess old school era builds, I'd say Minecraft, in terms of the games I play. But when it comes to sci-fi builds, I, I have to go for Space Engineers because I need moving bits, I need sounds, I, I need the entire aesthetic, the feeling, the environment. Yeah. The ships. Like, that's, to me, a vital part of the base as well because it shows, like, oh, there's somebody here. People it, working here. <laughs> it's funny. Space Engineers is a game that a lot of people quite fairly criticize for being empty and lifeless. But I think, to me, it's the game where the builds themselves feel the most alive. It's a blank canvas. It's not so... Well, I mean, it, it can be filled in with life already, but personally, just... Creating life is very cool in this game. Just imagine me waking up Toby the same way he starts the streams. G'day, everyone! G'day, Toby, and welcome back to more days of your life. 
Hmm. <laughs> Poor child. It feels like it feels like I'm doing a really bad intro to a really bad soap opera. Sounds Thanks, like teacher. you need to do a vlog with a similar intro. <laughs> Good day and welcome to a day no. in my life. Toby is not a fan <laughs> of me waking him up with lots of energy. Learned that lesson. <laughs> <laughs> he's a slow waker. I do not need to come in there with a lot of energy. So he's not a morning person yet. I think he's a morning person, but he's not a morning person in that first 30 seconds. <laughs> I, I walked in. I was like, hello, little man. And went to... And like came in with a whole lot of energy and smiley and happy and he just looked at me and dropped the bottom lip and I was like, oh. Oh, this is going to be fun. <laughs> oh. I was like, learn. <laughs> lesson learned. Next time. Hi, Toby. Hello, little guy. Pick him up. I yeah. mean, to be he has fair, a slow if somebody time, came yeah. into my room and just started dancing happily I would also not be happy I would be like five more minutes please <laughs> like maybe not to wake up but just to process what just happened yeah that's a brain overload yeah I think I think that's mostly what it was I just overwhelmed him with that's too much right now don't do that oh okay the longer the longer this takes the more I think we do need to um on your next trip, maybe bring the parts for a, a assembler and a basic refinery. In what cargo? Your cockpit. Okay, fair. Because uh, then I, I do can... have multiple connectors, so. Because yeah, we need we need more O2H2 gens here. This is. I'm at sixty six percent right now. Yeah. Uh, do you also? Hmm? Oh, sorry. Go on. You go. Uh, midnight and I. Clang is a very fun concept in this game. Clang is whenever a grid and another grid don't play so nicely. It's basically two grids fighting each other when they shouldn't be, or well, to the player's eyes, shouldn't be. It's a what's the what's the god term for anthropomorphizing? Deified? That doesn't sound right in this context. That concept that people have applied to bugs in a game. Mm -hmm. um, they're bugs that shouldn't be there and should be fixed. And despite what a lot of people say, has gotten a lot better over the past 10 years. Yes. But definitely. also, the things we've been able to do have become more limited. That is In order well. to improve that but it was a necessary sacrifice to make the clank so it would not eat our grids uh but yeah <laughs> sorry did i go too far into the clan cult as long as you don't spell it with k okay so it's right there on the call again My take on Clang is that Clang itself, as the deity I see it as, is spelled with a K, but its action is called Clang with a C. Now you're just complicating things. That's what I do. <laughs> and yeah, okay, fair enough. I don't have a retort to that. That's how I personally see it. Like, both can be right. It just depends on what you're referring to. Are you referring to the deity or the action? I'm a staunch, uh, man. Actually, I would say I, in, in this instance, I'm an atheist. <laughs> you do not worship the deity of Clang? No, I, I am firmly in of the belief that it does not exist, but. And yet you still regularly dance with Clang. I find it hard to believe. Okay, maybe I'm my maybe I'm devoutly agnostic then.
Yeah, in, in Kerbal Space Program, they call it the, they, they call these same physics bugs the Kraken. Uh, I think it got the Kraken name in KSP because of eating ships. Because <laughs> you think about spaceships and they got eaten. Um, so I think that's how it got there. Whereas in Space Engineers, I think the acoustics were more obvious. So people went along with the onomatopoeic name of Clang. Uh, I reckon, Shadow, the best plan right now is for me to disconnect and you to head back with what you've got and then come back here with some resources. Because yeah. otherwise we're just sitting around doing nothing. I mean, we can turn it into a just chatting stream. <sighs> we're having nice conversations. <laughs> I'd, I'd, I'd rather not. <laughs> uh, could you move back a little? Thank you. Let's see. Clear for take Is enough for me to lift off? Thanks, empty man. Thank hey, you Or mountain man. Case maybe. We are just talking about Clang. Nothing to worry about. Yeah, you could be right, Ufo. Uh, it could also be the whole long arms on a space station wobbling around looking like a giant space squid. <laughs> See, Andy, you might be onto something as to why I have a strong preference towards C for Clang, because then there are two five-letter words starting with C that are problematic for me. Thanks, what? Jilla. Thank you for the prime sub. Oh. Are uh, you converted now, want... Shadow? What? What? I will not betray my lord and savior Clang with a K. How dare you? Charlie being the third. Um, I didn't appreciate that. No, Charlie's got six letters. You could hear Shadow's pin drop. <laughs> what? Oh, uh, Mountman, it is 7.40 in the morning here. Child has five though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh boy. So, on the topic of the shed being problematic, um, has shed has five as well. Yes. Oh. But the the shed being problematic, it is. It started before the sun had even risen in my shed and outside at 27 degrees. Ooh. But it's not meant to get that much hotter today. I am very much a winter person. I cannot do heat. But that means that there's cloud cover, which means it's going to be really humid. Ugh. Yeah, that's not fun. Yeah. Expecting a top of 33 and humidity of about 88%. <laughs> that's 80.6 for those of us who use washing machines as a measure. <laughs> Thanks to Maso. <laughs> <laughs> but what is that in football fields? <coughs> Also, what was I supposed to bring? Just materials for a basic refinery and an assembly. Basic. And I should probably get myself a thing to turn off my sorter. Uh, anything else? Uh, no, I should be able to make everything with that. 
because nothing I'm making mm. requires cobalt. Are you sure you don't want me to bring anything else? Something that might speed it up whilst I'm here? Uh, I genuinely don't think so. I mean, you could bring some iron, nickel, and silicon if you wanted to. I just oh, don't know what yeah, okay. parts I need because I, like, that's the most compact way to bring parts. Yeah, I was planning on just kind of extending out over the wheels a bit more and adding a whole bunch of extra rows of O2H2 gens and engines to power them, that sort of thing. Oh, you were planning on adding it to your ship? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I was going to permanently add the assembler and stuff so that I can keep making oh. components, keep expanding this thing. Growing it until it is a true monster of a device. It already is. Well, I mean, it already looks like a bit of an oil rig, which I kind of like. But I figure at least doubling the speed at which it can produce hydrogen ah. would be useful. And if I make it significantly wider, I can also add some more hydrogen tanks to it so it can have stockpiled stuff while we're doing other things. Mm-hmm. Also, if I make it extra wide, I could add extra rows of wheels. Oh, at that point, why don't you just make a custom suspension system? Because they don't ever end up being able to take as much weight. Not with that attitude. <laughs> uh, um... What? Pressure much? A um. little bit to the side. <laughs> or front or back, whichever way it is. Yes? Uh, no, you need to go. It's forward or backwards. I don't know which way it is for you. I am currently facing the ice lake. Okay, forwards. Forwards about two and a half meters. Because remember, you're lining up the two thrusters either side of the cockpit. Mm -hmm. I thought I was lined up. Ah! Turning. Is this good? Uh, it's better, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm locking to the ground. Nope. And locked. Hooray! Hooray! Yay! Alright, uh, where am I going to get these materials? Through the conveyor network. Oh, it's actually piped? Yeah. So we Could be. It was supposed to be, at least. Yep, it is. It is, it is. Also, I don't think Spinsy needs a hydrate button, because from what I understand, he's been hydrating a lot. Uh, yes. Very much so. Which I am quite bad at. Uh, it's you guys are actually helping me hydrate. It's something very important to do if you're spending long time, a long time of the day talking. Um, because if you don't, then your voice can get very scratchy and unhappy. Mm -hmm. It's not good for your long-term vocal health. Okay, Doctor. Do you know Twitch Australia New Zealand actually had a thing where they um, uh, they got a vocal coach to come in and talk to a bunch of partners? Oh. Yeah. That's quite nice of them. It was. I don't think they're going to do that anymore because Twitch doesn't make because Twitch doesn't make money. But they did do that. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I honestly don't know how Twitch is still afloat. But you don't know how Twitch is still a what? Afloat. Alive. Oh, um, functioning. Because the main reason that Twitch doesn't make money is because Amazon Web Servers Services charges them so much. 
and then it all goes oh. back to the same parent company. But AWS oh. is like their only profitable branch of Amazon. That is... What? Yeah. I, I don't see the logic there. <laughs> So, so what which are part? you doing? Oh, oh I'm you're getting mining stone. stone. Yeah. Right. So that is why the revenue split is so bad on Twitch, because they need to pay themselves. <laughs> yeah. Man, I wish I could say that to like an employer as well. Sorry, I need more income. I, I just need to pay myself. Yeah. Don't ask me to explain how any of this works at a large scale. It's just those are the that's the those are the pieces of information I know about it. Also, you do know that you're still ejecting. Um. Yeah, I thought I turned that off, but apparently not. <laughs> just polluting the environment for no reason at all. Apparently so put the thing to turn it off on my hotbar but then never actually switched it off it's a good move <laughs> that does sound very you okay now adding extra o2h2 gems that's what we're after falling off the side or with falling off the side given how easy it is it seems to be to survive around here I mean it is snow so it should be relatively soft yeah I'm always afraid of the thing that's hiding in the snow that isn't soft though you mean ice uh well I'm I was more thinking about when I went um cross country skiing and it was like there's logs, there's things like this. Uh, well, it looks like have... that pile of snow might be soft, but there's probably a fallen tree inside it, which is why it's so big and fluffy and looks so soft. So that's why you hate trees. Because they make soft things not soft. I'm not, I'm not computing. Huh. Huh. Uh, okay, I have more than uh, enough stone. I've got over 500,000 kilos of it. Oh <laughs> my goodness. But I do need more refinery. Also, I do have some very good news for you, Splits. I don't see any trees around here. <laughs> Which, well, might be horrible news, because maybe they're all in hiding. Alright. Maybe I put the initial efforts into making another refinery. Probably smart with that amount of stone. Yeah. And also your ability to get more stone. It's still gonna take a while. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Hey Elemental, thanks for the 100 bits. That lady is always so disturbing. Thank you for the 100 bits Elemental, and hello! Which lady is disturbing? I have a text to speech lady for some oh. things and then. Um, right. Although she said it a bit more happily this time, which can be scary in its own way. And usually so. she just says it very soullessly. Well, see, my partner and I think that the, the voice that they have for the Google Home, um, that she's really sassy. Oh, yeah. The Australian voice comes across as really sassy and we both kind of like it. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I 
just hope Toby doesn't learn from it then. Yeah, I'm gonna need to replace the replace it though, because the I think having it next to our like our hot plates might have done some damage to it. The speaker's oh. gone a bit um muffledy sort of sounding. Not haunted? I mean it could be. Uh, Takari, I don't have my budgies here, so if you do hear them, I need to be very concerned because they should not be that loud. They're like a you story. You just down. hear the wild ones that are near me. Which I don't know. I don't think there are any budgies around here, but the lorikeets get pretty loud. Uh, yes, my my accent is the Sydney Australian accent, uh, which is more mild than, say, the far north Queensland or the... Basically, the places outside the cities tend to have stronger, more more Croc Dundee-esque accents. Sorry, more what? You, you never saw Crocodile Dundee? No. Huh. I'd say you're missing out, but I'm not sure. Hmm. There are some aspects to those movies that are problematic, let's say. But there are some also classic Aussie references in there too. Even if they are translated oh. into a American. There's also, no Canada, way I think... any self-respecting Australian would ever call a shrimp a prawn a shrimp. And yeah, that's not a knife. This is a knife. That sort of stuff. I remember doing that accidentally and you thinking like, oh, she's trying to put on an accent. Ah. Uh, Thanks, Ariel. I was just referencing something you didn't see before. Thanks for the gift which I will have to show you later. Because you haven't seen Astor's movie. I haven't seen what movie? ASDF movie. No. I don't even know what that Heresy. is. It's very dumb humor. Right. You're not selling it. <laughs> I know. It, it, it's hard to explain. <laughs> Are you about to say it's a generational thing? Feels like God. Yes and no. I did grow up with that kind of stuff, so it was inherently more funny to me. But it also has some old school humor and just some dad jokes. So it's not exactly my generation only thing. Uh, okay. Akin to Dumb and Dumber. Yeah. I feel like Dumb and Dumber is one of those things that, sure, maybe I laughed at when I watched it back then, but I think I'd struggle to find it funny now. I should probably turn off my drills. I also love the number of different footprints you've left in this in the snow here with your ship. <laughs> it don't look like just giant footprints. It... It's how I would start drawing a footprint. I'm just sketching. That's what I'm doing. Hmm. Well. I had, to I had hoped that the basic refinery would be quicker than this, but I forgot we're playing Ares at War. Wow. wow. <laughs> yeah. Even with two of them, making anything from this assembler is so incredibly slow. How's your hydrogen going, by the way? Well, that's tanks. Good 60%. Question. I am currently on the way to... Uh... You're being a cat. 
No, I'm thinking about the fact that we need resources in this location, and unknown signals are, <laughs> funnily enough, made out of resources. Sure you are. And hey, maybe that badger grinder will be a nice benefit. A little extra. Oh, for my efforts. Oh, Prince Boots. Exactly. Something fuzzy to keep me warm, maybe. Keep on running. Alright, more fineries it is. Didn't bring any cobalt, so can't make a big refinery, but I'll just make a bunch of basics. Did you get the one with the thruster in Get it? Down. Or is it just... Oh, no, that <gasps> one. Rainbow drill. Weird. I mean, we're not far from Cobalt. We could probably connect, collect some with even a hand drill and it'd be useful, but... Ugh. Honestly, Shadow, have we got enough um, hydrogen to launch a... We've got enough to launch one bomb, right? Back at base? Unless we've left uh, the hydrogen I think engines we have... on? That is a good question. I don't know if we left them on, but I think we have enough for at least two. I think we might have left them on. Which is the problem. It'll be fine. Yeah, basic is basic refinery can do cobalt. So like, Shadow could fly me over there, and I could even mine just a, a handful, and that'd probably get me enough. That'd get me enough to build a proper refinery. I don't really have room for it though. much as I could oh, build about one, that outpost. didn't really leave space. I know. Whoa, the sun. I guess once the sun's up, we can do a missile launch. And in the time we're messing around with that, we should end up with this place having produced a decent amount of stuff. Just at idle. Which will help. Something to distract us. Oh, I'm oh, already right. distracted, don't Remember worry. Remember last week I suggested we try and bring Capac and TFE in at the end of this to help us assault the place? Oh, yeah. yeah we should should totally we plan that. toward that? Because we've got about two, two and a half hours before they get here. It should be plenty. Yeah. Also, Spitz, I have a present for you. Oh, dear. Thank you, I think. You're welcome. Oh, this is going to be so hard to grind down on this <laughs> scaffold block. Okay, hang on, let me bring it back down. <laughs> I mean, I'm impressed you managed to get it up here. Also, this, the more I look at that unknown signal, the more I'm like, this is just a very cartoonized spider. Virus. Virus. Yeah, it's a virus. Oh. Rude. It's a totally cartoonized virus. It's not bubbly enough to be a cartoonized virus. Oh yeah. 
Hmm. Well, production rate is slowly improving because I now have like three basic refineries running. <laughs> Thanks, Pamphy. Thank you so much for 40 months. Thank you very much. Um, the plan after today, we didn't actually specify because Capac and TFE wanted different things. Um, but I'm thinking it might be enshrouded. But we'll oh. see. We'll see what those two decide. Also, when you have a moment split, could you check Discord? Don't show the stream as well. Well, yep. Yeah. Just something I just. Oh, so. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Surprise. I don't have my whispers open. Yeah, I happen to have it open on the. Uh, tab I have for your stream so All right, also my, uh, my quick point reminder is to the... everyone in chat yes if you get a whisper from a random saying to do something like clicking on a link never click on that link just general reminder also if you get a it. if you get a whisper or a dm from a friend telling you to click on a link probably don't click you on that can... either yeah make sure you it's really them <laughs> and verify the link not by clicking hey, on second. it Dang it, move my cursor to check the refineries to see if they're on property mode. Refineries always are. Assemblers have co-op or un-co-op. Uh, but refineries are always property. Well... To an extent. As in they always operate at the same time. But they won't share resources between them. Competitive cooperation. Hmm. That's five basic refineries. Is that going to make me produce parts enough? Not enough speed. <laughs> yeah. That's it. I'm getting you some cobalt. I'll be right back. Well, it was just to get to a point where the iron production of the um, refineries outstripped the consumption rate for producing steel plate, which it has. So we're good. No, I'm getting you cobalt now. I, I am dedicated. What? You're going to run out of power. I'll show you I won't run out of power. It's only one at six k's away. Uh, oh yeah, fair enough. That's probably close enough. And I should probably turn off my light. Might be a bit dark, but... Actually, it's quite visible through the snow still. Yeah, there's a lot of, um, because we've got the vanilla skybox, there's a lot of, a lot more light at night than there otherwise would be. Okay, the assembler's running at its max, its normal maximum rate. I could put speed modules on the assembler, I guess. Uh, Ikari, we don't have jetpacks. <laughs> we need a bingo card. We really do. <laughs> See how quickly we can get. Um, how? Why aren't you using your jetpack? The second time someone asks, why aren't we using a jetpack? And mm -hmm. um, what else do we get asked a lot? Uh. Your tanks are still only eighty-seven percent full. Oh, why are you not using guns to shoot the enemy? Oh yeah, why aren't we using guns? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. The answer to all these questions is because we're idiots. But <laughs> the proximate answer is a bit more interesting. Okay, actually, elemental balance, that is a really good question. Why are we not using catapults? Well, we were talking about using a catapult, but that was just to get to space. Yeah, but why are we not using a catapult? 
Oh, right. Closing our helmets. Hold up. That's a good one as well. Why aren't we using a catapult? Are you thinking about throwing full hydrogen tanks at the base? Because then, um... Yeah, I totally am. No, 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 I'm videoing. No, we're not throwing explosive bombs at our base. <laughs> well, not at our base, at their base. Oh, okay, specify that immediately then. I didn't I think it needed to be. <laughs> with you, you never know. No, but, so, at, with a speed limit of 100 meters per second, you can typically get about 900 meters out of a catapult or a trebuchet, whichever one you want to use. Basically, if you're at the speed limit, you get that distance. We have 250 meters per second, which means we should be able to go more than two and a half times as far. Slightly, because of the weird way things will work out. But we're also at 0.8G, which means I'm talking about at 1G we can get that far. At 0.8, we're going to get even further. So we should be able to outrange their angry distance. Ah... Uh... Okay, I have one problem with that. Accuracy. It's totally cheesing the AI mechanics. Oh no, that's not a problem at all. It's a fun engineering challenge. Okay, cool. I'm glad you're on board with that. <laughs> I, I, I love stupid things like that, so that's usually not the part I'm against, but it's more like... Accuracy? Oh, accuracy will be abysmal. We'll have to ta It'll take us a while exactly. to sight it in. And also, it will be in a... Oh, it's kind of in a crater. Like in a cliff. Yep, so a, we'll have to have routine, a fairly so. high arc. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, because Space Engineers doesn't have atmospherics, mass, density, and aerodynamics do not matter. So we can sight in by just launching single armor blocks if we want. Or empty, or mm -hmm. simply just half-constructed hydrogen Energy tanks. Low. We don't have to launch full tanks to sight it in. We can just send tanks yeah. that are a single steel plate because they'll have the full mass, so we can make sure that our rig can actually launch it. Hmm. Okay, so... Are we doing I do this? I have one proposition. If we're actually doing that... Well, actually, two propositions. First of all, that is how we are going to use TFE and CAPAC to get close to that location. Maybe you shade them in. <laughs> We they might don't give him a parachute. Pets. Yeah, we might oh. give him a parachute, but we might not oh. say that we forgot to load in the canvas. Wink, wink, wink. Oh, we can launch all four of us in that way. Uh, yeah, you're not, that you're well. not telling me that I'm going to build a launcher and going to launch them on a catapult and I don't get a turn as well. I'm just saying that maybe we should have some test subjects first to see if we can survive such a thing. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm on board with this. <laughs> and um, then my second proposition, I will take care of the logistics for fueling the hydrogen. I will make a proper automated setup that is not mostly manual, like it is now. But I will use your machine to make it automatic. So I'm building a catapult and you're gonna take over my robot? Yeah, basically. I will take care of the fuel side of things and you will take care of the catapult side of things okay do you think we should go with I th I'm thinking I'll go with a small grid catapult whatever works for you I have no experience with catapults in space engineers I don't know why I specified space engineers because I have also <laughs> not made them in real life <laughs> Um, yeah, I I have no experience with them, so I trust you more. Okay, I have made functional catapults. Stuff. All right, your tanks are full. Yep, um, I am almost back. We're out of stone. I'm just gonna move the truck forward and mine a little more stone, and then you can give me a lift back, I guess. Yep. Just make sure to put it in park. Also, yes, that would be a Kapaka pulled. Yes. But only once we've launched him. Until then, 
Yeah. So just a catapult. Also, chat, this requires a lot of trust from you guys as well. This is between us and the people here, okay? Just <laughs> yes. Nothing too capic and TFV. Let me find out TFV's already in chat. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Well, I have flicked a pen at a teacher, albeit not on purpose at the teacher, but I have flicked a pen before, yes. It's alright, one of my teachers used to flick matches down the middle of our classroom while we were watching videos. <laughs> well, I, I say flick, it was really more of a launch. <laughs> that does not make it better. He'd stick two match heads, two matches head to head, wrap them in a little bit of foil more tightly around one match than the other. And then light mm -hmm. underneath, light another match underneath them. When the two matches ignited, they'd create enough force to launch the loosely fitted one down the center of the classroom. He'd get a good like five meters out of it. This was my biology teacher, of, as well. Like this wasn't even chemistry. <laughs> this is biology. <laughs> Obviously, has the wrong profession. Needs to be biology teacher. Oh, not biology teacher. Chemistry teacher. Yeah. He was an awesome dude, though. He sounds it. He had a, um, quite a colourful life. That he would give us little bits and pieces of info about. Alrighty. I, uh, I do love it when teachers speak from experience, because in my opinion, you learn more that way. Oh, my opinion, my experience. Are you ready? I am ready. I'm loaded up. Please don't tilt too hard. Also, don't fly out of the atmosphere. <laughs> you can't tell me what to do. I have oxygen. Please don't fly out of the atmosphere. Is that better? Eh, uh, fair enough. So I keep turning to the wrong way. Oh, wait, no. Never mind. Also, my science teacher in year seven was our... Um, was also the deputy principal, uh, deputy headmaster. Um, and he, as one of the very first things he taught, hello, Charlie. Oh. <laughs> That's one of the very first things he taught us in science uh -oh. was how to make a big fireball with a Bunsen burner. Okay, I might have, hang on. Overshot. This is gonna get weird for you. <laughs> I'm trying my best to carefully turn. Like, if stuff does happen, then, uh... One of TFE's teachers decided to test if the gas taps had been left on using a lighter. They were missing an eyebrow for a few weeks. Yeah. Oh, one of my chemistry teachers did something similar. Like, they were showing off a explosive reaction outside. And they were telling everyone, like, Please be careful, this can damage you. Be very careful, don't get too close. And then it... Well, happened a bit too soon, and he was missing an eyebrow. Oops. Perfect example of what not to do. Overconfidence is a dangerous thing. Ah, he was always one of those... Well... Hmm. He was very hyper about everything, and we would usually call him Imp as well, just because of his chaotic energy and relatively small size, actually. <laughs> Which he himself also made fun of, so... Okay. Like he... Good to have a sense of humour about yourself. Yeah. Great Especially guy. important on the internet. He was my biology teacher for a while and then also became a chemistry teacher, so... Okay. Catapult. Catapult, catapult, catapult. This is gonna be fun. I haven't built one of these in a while. I am excited. Okay. Um. Well, I also have never built one in um, these conditions. As in, no jetpack. Mm hmm. It's going to add some interest and challenge. 
also known as Yiffy. fun. If you find me chaotic, you cannot even fathom how chaotic that guy was. He's way more chaotic than me. In a very good way. I loved his lessons. But I, I do have to say I'm a little bit inspired by him at times. Oh, actually, I don't know if I've built a um, a catapult since we had hinges. Well, I mean, other than the one in Survival Impossible, but I don't think I've built like a ground launching catapult since we had hinges. Oh, you mean a series we don't talk about anymore? Well, I will say, I haven't built one deliberately <laughs> since then. <laughs> I have made things that worked as one. They just weren't intended as that initially. Covered up the inventory thing before I created my new access point. Oops. Okay. Whoop. Think. Think, 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 think. This needs to be able to drive and sit itself in a whole bunch of different situations. It also needs to possibly be able to level itself. Dissonant rotor. Dissonant rotor for leveling. Yeah, like, I don't know how you're designing that thing, but you can use a piston in conjunction with a rotor to get a certain level. Oh, well, I, I guess you can use a rotor like, itself as well. I was thinking of designing it more like a uh, real-world crane where you've got the four pistons, one in each corner, to try and level it off. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Herbler <laughs> tracks. Um, that was exactly what I was thinking. Uh, so, let's start with. Oh, good old hinge. Hinge lock, hinge off, breaking torque up. Now. This needs to be 5x5 five five wheels, so we got good terrain clearance. It's going to have to be a large platform with a long swinging arm, so that we've got plenty of ability to get up to speed. Yeah, outriggers. That's the word. Thank you, Lenjet. Figured you'd be on, <laughs> on the ball with that. No, that's not going to be high enough. I'm going to need to build this... I'm impressed that we haven't managed to lose our tier 3 tools yet. You almost did. I, I did almost. Hence my feeling of being impressed that we haven't lost them yet. Because we could have. Yeah. Especially with your flying. Am I not wrong? I'd have more to say, but you'd, you'd just fly quite safely with me. With me. <laughs> not able to breathe if you... You did not look on the outside. I was very close to leaving the atmosphere. <laughs> but I was trying to be gentle. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. Nah, let's make this closer.
Need lots of wheels, so this can take lots of weight. Because the other thing that's going to be tricky about this is this is going to have to have enough materials in it for us to build the things that are launched. Mm-hmm. Which always adds up to a lot more stuff. considering the logistical part like i part of me kind of wants to use the uh, ship that is here to ferry back the hydrogen uh -huh. that's also hydrogen based which will make it quite difficult to make it a automatic drone and yes i am going to make it automatic i mean if you're doing something automatic it doesn't have to be the large grid thing it could be smaller mm -hmm. and just be because then it's operating more often and you could make an atmospheric thing uh that goes back and forth as the smaller thing exactly but then i also need to make sure i can recharge at both ends uh no you can just recharge at this end you can just set a timer so that it stays longer at this end and recharges i'm doesn't have to not be sure ends. about vanilla autopilot well, I mean, you can use the timer on the programmable block to trigger it anyway, with a specific command. I presume the script you're using has the ability to run commands like that? Yeah, I can do home position, job position, continue, and stop, so... Yeah, so the, That's the, the continue ones. is set on a delay. I suppose I can. That's what I was imagining. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think I need, I, think like, I can. Hmm. Here we go that. Let's see if this works. Hmm. I think Shadow's been uh, burnt by vanilla autopilot more than I have because I haven't really used it much in survival. But I will be using it in Underground alone. That is my plan. Because I'd like to yeah, prove to but... myself that it's useful. Or usable. So I guess the reason why I am quite distrustful of the vanilla AI is because of the Wiggle of Doom. Yeah, you had a lot of issues mean... with the Wiggle. Yeah, which basically means it hovers above the waypoint it's trying to go to, but instead of lowering itself, it will slowly go up and up and up and up, wiggling as it does. So that is why I things. trust... That is mm -hmm. why I trust Pam way more to do my shuttle jobs than I trust vanilla AI. Although, if I make combat drones, I'd be happy to use AI box. Oh yeah, I think the, the scripted solutions are still, because they've been around longer, I think is part of it. They're still better, generally. Mm -hmm. Is this wider than it is long? Uh, I think it's kind of square. Uh, split, I have a quick question. Yeah? In regards to the mining rig you made for the snow mining, do you plan on moving it back, or is this now space we can build on? Um... Do we need to build there? Uh. Just, just in case, like, just in case we do decide. I mean, we're supposed to be making it go obsolete, so yeah, build there if you want. Okay. Like the plan of Thank what you. we're doing is making that obsolete. Mhm. Mm yeah, I was just making sure. Like, I don't know if you had other plans, like using it for the stone mine or something. I didn't really know. I, I honestly okay. hadn't thought about it at all. <laughs> it was just there now. Yeah, because then I am going to set up some drone docks here. I 
just jump down here. Uh, okay, this is working, I think. This should be a stable enough platform to work from, I think. I hope. Oh, yeah, I show hydrate. I have built something with 20 wheels. Well, planned out something with 20 wheels. And I'm sticking to it. Well, I almost became a fish. You almost became a fish? Hydration went wrong. Oh. Into the airway instead of uh, the upper pipe. <laughs> so, in theory, because I've made this so wide, I should be able to have cargo storage at the corners to keep this relatively balanced. Uh, while building the launching mechanism down the middle. But based on my experience of building small grid catapults, it is, there are advantages to building it so that it can block to the ground, but I'm hoping this thing can be made sturdy enough that it can launch even from a, even without having a landing gear lock. That is very good advice, Corso. I should drink water, not breathe it in. What are we launching? Try to we remember are launching that next time. hydrogen tanks. That's the plan, anyway. Both Shadow and I are interested to find out if we can uh, launch these from Energy. far enough away no. that we can hit the enemy position without getting into range of their meh meh meh, this is our space, go away. Bit. You have now permission to be here. Yes, you have now permission to be here. They're very confusing messaging. Indeed. What happened to our blamp 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 blamp? That is a good question. Hang on, let me. Oh <gasps> no! What? I think it died. I think it's run out of power. Oh. oh. How sad. It will not blamp blamp anymore. And I don't have a way to play through TeamSpeak, Capax rendition <laughs> of the Benny Hill theme, so I can't even give you that to make up for it. Oh, that was so catchy when I first heard it. <laughs> that Capax one, at least. Energy critical. We don't have cleanup on, so it should be something you could just add power to again, Shadow. What do you think I'm trying to do right now? <laughs> oh, okay. You're just trying to get on the roof. I see. Yep. Shadow, have you ever actually heard the Benny Hill theme other than when Capac did it? Yes. Many times. It's one of those things that the original use of it is something most people won't no, have seen. No energy. Boing, boing. But it has been used happy. a lot. Felt it. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but it worked out in my favor, so I'm not going to question it. Oh, 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 oh. oh. No. Yes. No. 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 See, Sazink, the reason that Shadow asked about where she was building stuff is that because unlike Capac, Shadow actually likes to be happy. 
I and do. so choosing to build something where I already have a drill that can go through it, it's not a great way to be happy. And that's why Kapak does it to himself, because he's Eeyore. He's lost his tail and he's unhappy about it and he wants everyone to know. Wow. <laughs> is that not accurate? <laughs> no, I'm wowing because it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like I've known him for almost 30 years. Wow. Thanks, Mr. Tin Man. Thank you so much for 22 months. I don't really want to do the maths for how long I've known Kappa, but it's... Uh, 27 years? It's, I have good news. <laughs> I hear your news. <laughs> you also put fun music on somewhere. I did not. Okay. What's this event controller doing over here? Base easy oh, hydro that management. Oh, that's for making sure we don't run out of the tanks. Yeah. Yep. Our base also, is full. I do love. I know. Huh. Cool. So basically, what I'm gonna do to offload the drone is whenever a drone is docked, the base will go onto stockpile, and when it undocks, the base will burn off of stockpile. Yep. Cool. There he is. <laughs> Thanks, Max Lowe Releaser. Thank you so much for the 400 bits. Uh, right. Is some speed dropping? No. No? Why does it feel so slow? on me. Okay, so let's build a little bridge over. Thank you so much, Demon Moe. Oh my subs. goodness. What's that up, is my a goodness? white base. Yeah. Gotta have a stable platform to do these things from. I also am not sure what sort of terrain we're going to have to drive across to get this in a position to launch and use it. The thing is, we'll when, figure it out. If we eventually get some magnesium here, we can just upgrade this to launch warheads. Ooh. So this isn't just Ooh. a use for now. This is a thing we can keep using if it works. What am I doing? Slash when we eventually put enough effort in to make it work. It's going to fling things. I don't know whether it's going to fling things well enough to be useful as a weapon. Just for clarity on that. It is definitely going to fling things. And it'll be fun. Bamfy! <laughs> Thank you so much for the 10 gift subs as well. Thank you very, very much. Oh, don't worry. The cockpit is definitely going to be off-center. No question. Oh, wait. That's what I wanted to do. And I'm Australian, so it's 100% going to be driving on the right. Unless I'm not paying attention to where I am when I put down the cockpit, in which case it could be anywhere. Don't have high hopes. Like there is drive no always order. feels weird. Only chaos. Unless I've been playing a lot of GTA and then things get really weird in my head. There was a period of time where I wasn't having to drive much at all. And I played a lot of GTA for like a couple of weeks. And 
it felt so strange getting in my car and actually driving. Yeah, I'm still not entirely sure if I do want my license or not. I... When I'm not in the Netherlands, I'm sure it will be very handy to have. But then again, I'm also a hermit. I usually don't go out much. And public transport around the parts where I live is usually very good. And actually that goes for the most of the Netherlands, so... I don't feel that bad about being reliant on public transport. Yeah, I mean, in your position, I can totally understand. In in Australia, it's kind of a necessity if you want to go yeah. anywhere but being in a city. Like, if you lived in Melbourne, you could probably get away with not having your license for most of the time. But then any time you try and travel anywhere, you're going to need one. And it's just a bit of a pain not having one. Mm -hmm. So I think that's why most people end up getting one, even if they don't own a car, they have a license. Yeah. Like, I also have no intention of getting a car because, to me, it would just be expenses that wouldn't be worth it. Like, I would not be able to justify those. Especially with the gas prices nowadays as well. Hmm. Is that too? The cost of keeping a car is expensive too. Registration, mm -hmm. maintenance, all that stuff. Yearly checkup, the taxes you have to pay for the roads, or at least that's how it works here in the Netherlands. Not sure if it's or how it's done in other countries. Similar it is, or might not be. That's yeah, pretty similar here. But it does vary depending on place. But yeah, I can totally understand why you don't have a license. I guess if you end up traveling more throughout parts of Europe, especially that don't have great links, you might find that you're like, actually, this is really annoying. Maybe I should just get my license to have the option. Yeah, but at that point, I probably also made like a 180 in life. I know what I want to do and hmm. that stuff. But also, I'm Dutch. Bicycles. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. And also oh, traffic. It, I, I would get annoyed by traffic so much. I, I even get annoyed just being a passenger. It's just meh. Oh, would Shadow be a rager driver? I would, would swear. Would we see road rage sure. from Shadow? But it would not be road rage. It would be just swearing at people being idiots. Well, not necessarily swearing, but just yelling at people being idiots without them being able to hear. Okay, so I need to be able to weld up and fuel up these hydrogen tanks, right? Yep. Good luck. Yeah. I'm going to have to get rid of some of this floor, but I do need a sort of a platform to walk around on. Um, right. So the... The arm should probably be mounted, Energy like, low. the swinging part should be at the back here. Not too far back. Because I think the greater force with launching is actually when the arm gets stopped, not when the arm starts swinging. No, that may not be true. Hmm. Think Looks like you're in a predicament. Yeah. I kind of want to look at my catapult design. But I don't think I've got it saved. Did I publish that one? I did. I think I've got it archived somewhere because I often clean out my uh, blueprint list to make it load a little bit faster. Almost soundable. So it only needs to get hydrogen through to the hinge. 
Um, I mean, I'd live relatively close to a, a big city. I guess Honinger is relatively big. Because it would be like an hour for me to get to the city, public transport, so... Then even if you do have a car and you do need to go to the city, then the problem becomes where are you going to park? Just trust me when I say that that city is occupied. Most parking spots are hard to reach there. Or at least from what I can see, like, oftentimes there's just cars standing in places they probably shouldn't be. You know what, I'm gonna put this in the middle. Motorbike license? Not needed. Probably just gonna go for an e-bike instead. Things can go very fast. I know, because I've almost been hit a couple times by them. I love that we've Which left our fun. burning wreck of a missile there, and neither of us have decided to clean it up. You wanted to keep it there. That's the only reason I didn't clean it up, yeah. yeah. Glad you remember that. Uh, I shouldn't have said anything and just clean it up. <laughs> Probably. This is like me feeding you in stationers. I, I should not have fed you as much as I did. Did you starve? Get your skull. <laughs> you would have felt horrible doing it that way. It wouldn't have felt like such an achievement. I'm not so sure about that. I think I would have been blinded by happiness because I get to hold your skull. One of the creepiest sentences that's been said on our channels. <laughs> and people still know what I'm talking about. You hope. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, can make that longer, but... But isn't that half the fun, just having people be weirded out by something you say? Sometimes, yes. Ah. creepiest sentence so far. Fair? I was reading about um, the e-scooters and injuries and stuff on them the other day. Apparently, in most conditions, uh, in most places that they looked at, they have a higher injury rate than bicycles, which doesn't surprise me. Yeah, no, not surprised at all. Uh, but also, the eggs. interesting thing I found out, apparently they did like a citywide vote on it in Paris, and so they're banned in Paris. Did you mean to do that to me? Why yes. I just need power. <laughs> that reaction. That's oh. what I wanted. <laughs> Yeah, I was surprised. I mean, I wasn't surprised that Parisians would do that, but I was surprised that it got voted on. Okay. So. Well, like, from my personal experiences with e-scooters, e-scooters, the e-bikes, it they go way faster than normal bicycles would normally. Yeah, because there's no effort involved. Oh, so, very little, yeah. Like, definitely not the muscle strength you would normally require. Yeah, the, the... Also, people tend to grow overconfident using them, but they also ride on places where they're... <laughs> oh, that was on point. <laughs> but they just grow too confident and they drive on places where slower pedestrians often cross or like just normal bicycles. It, it's just dangerous. And grass. Grass also very dangerous for those things. And see, now you all trained. understand how Shadow can get along with all of us. Because she may actually be young, but she's <laughs> mentally very old. Get off my lawn with your e-scooters! I have a logical view to life, yes. <laughs> What are we making it this time? It also helps I that I... Catapult. 
Uh, it also helps that I grew up in a more adult environment rather than the candy everywhere and just getting very excited about the things that don't matter at all. Mm -hmm. Fair. Also, actually, thinking back to school, maybe the fact that I was just an outsider kind of did that as well because I always sought refuge at the teachers. With the teachers, I mean. I enjoyed hanging out with them more because they were just kinder, more logical. Easier to understand. Yeah. Okay, for those not familiar with what I'm doing here, um, hinges only have a certain amount of torque, and so getting something to move really fast with a hinge is a little bit difficult. So if I crank this torque up to maximum, and then I hit reverse, we're going to get a certain amount of speed out of that. Which is, you know, oh my. it's a decent amount, but it's, it's not enough. <laughs> so basically what you made is a giant lever that you can rapidly flick. I mean, right now, yes. But what I'm going to do is make it so it can go even faster. Okay, hang on, hang on. I, I need to test something. Give me a moment to... Get over so by to putting you. pistons here, I can make this so that it will be able to use the pistons to actuate the hinge. And the pistons are going to push that hinge well beyond 60 RPM. And so hopefully, and even when it's heavily laden, they'll be able to do that. Because it'll be combined force of all of the pistons pushing that hinge as fast as it can go. And it should uh, be quite effective. Based on my prior experience at using precisely this design. Uh, is it safe for you to flick right now? Yeah. You want to see how far you go? That as well. Yep. <laughs> I mean... Uh, I don't know that I can no, be blamed I, for that one. No, no, that was my intention, don't worry. It's also why I put away my tool, so... Okay. That stuff wouldn't get lost. That okay, was good. intentional and planned. Good. <laughs> I was just wondering, like, maybe with my latency it would, like, clang me out and yeet me away hang on hang on um since you splattered me how about you since i splattered you how about you launch me i'm so gonna hit you i see this as an absolute thing. win three two good luck Whee! Ooh, i think i'm gonna <laughs> land in the hole i think i'm gonna hit the hole i'm gonna hit the hole am i gonna barbecue before i hit the ground nope. <laughs> all in one <laughs> Yep, that was a holy uh, one. Oh, that's fun. There we go. Where'd my backpack go? That thing is not happy. Actually, I'm, I'm just gonna tell it to reverse. I'm gonna let you deal with that. Yeah, it'll be fine. Oh, also, I've got to get a med bay. I still don't know why oh. I don't respawn in the right suit. Oh, it's not just you. Yeah, it's weird, eh? All right, All right we'll post on a med bay. You can come outside if you want. Need enough open space to put it. I down. wonder if it updates our preference because I am now also the female character. Like, I, it's not the suddenly suited shadow. Yeah, it's it's the thing. it's the van whatever your vanilla option is. Oh, there you are. What? I put down two med bays. Oh. oh, kind of you. Oh. Nope. Oh. Oh. Nope. Oh. Where are you? <laughs> oh, there. Right behind you. Oh, here it is. Oh, I don't need to do one thing. Ow! And that is open my face. Good height, poor distance, perfect aim. Yep. I'd agree with that. But yeah, that's the sort of distance you can get out of 60 RPM with that length of uh, 
launching arm. Uh, but I'm going to make the launching arm longer. And I'm also going to see if I can actuate it with the pistons well enough that the pistons will be able to push it properly. Uh, are you happy to get rid of that med bay when you're done? Yeah, I can take care of it. Okay. Just make sure you don't grind it down. I would never do such a thing. Uh, that's four pistons. I don't think that's going to be enough. I think I need more than that. Oh, how much? Ones don't really matter. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? How am I doing this? Brain, work, please. Yeah! Bananas! Just launched by the thing bouncing. It's not bouncing! Thank you. Yeah, so the pistons will have... <laughs> the angle of release will be mostly about timing the release of the thing. Or seeing whether I just have it slightly cupped so that it doesn't release too high but well that's going to require testing and fiddling rather than just doing it I think I can fit this in here without it being a problem yeah put in one more row We'll have six pistons pushing it. I do love how there's just a lot of smoke around our base. <laughs> Various things on fire. Yeah. Yeah. It's a thing. Hello? No place. Why do you not place? Why does it not like me? Oh. Huh? <laughs> I just realized something. I'm doing this on a dedicated server. Oh. This could get iffy. I'm sure it'll be fine. That flanging is coming from you or from the gravel ejector? Uh, por que no las dos? I think it might be. Hmm. Alright, let's just try it with just the four. Let's see if I even need this. So, um. Oh, yeah, I shall hydrate, which also means I need to refill my water bottle soon. Move this back over. To there. Then we put rotor on here. Get the rotor part off. What do you mean squeak? Oh. Then we put a right apart on here. That would be very impressive and if you heard attach. my water bottle squeak, because it did not squeak. Just so, so the reason the reason that being on a dedicated server changes things is that dedicated servers change the way that um, each certain issues end up showing up. So there are things that will work in single player that, with the added latency of a dedicated server, don't work. The most obvious of those is having wheels in close proximity to each other. Because the subgrids are not in 
like the calculations around where they are aren't exactly aren't as precise as they would be if you were able to see them as a local hosted thing. All right, so I need a button. There's, there's no point a doing button. this without a button. So I need to turn off breaking talk. Oh, I have a problem. Why do you have a problem? Uh, because I'm very indecisive. So, in regarding, oh, in regards to the gas drone, like, do we actually want to transfer the gas or the ice? Um, I think since we've got all that production over there, the gas, but it doesn't have to be. Uh -huh. And with heavy gas. That is going to be interesting to set up as well. I mean, as long as and you... How... It's like, you can easily test the drone here by filling it, seeing if it can fly comfortably, and then you'll be good if it does. True. True. Thank you, Gepper. Hmm. Okay, this is going to be, um, this is going to be something. You're going to want to watch this, Shadow, because it could go very wrong. Is the spectator cam wrong, or is this in-person wrong? In-person wrong. Huh? In-person at a safe distance. <laughs> oh, spectator wrong. No, 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 just, like, stand over near the hydrogen <laughs> tank. You'll be right. You'll be fine. Trust me, what could possibly go wrong? The hydrogen with, tank's exploding and with dying Newtons. because every... Oh, you know, I'm getting over there right now. No groups. Kind of up distance. Reverse. Okay. Uh, let's do this first. Hang on, I'm trying to get a good angle. Sure. Just gonna make a little bit of a spatula to launch from. Just so we can see what actually happens here. There we go. Okay. You are so going to smack into my ship. <laughs> <laughs> it's possible. You ready? And three. This could this could just do nothing. I'm not sure what's gonna happen. In three, two, one. Whoa! <laughs> or it could all explode. I mean, I got launch. I got distance. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. All right, I learned a lesson here. Um, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> uh, I have... I probably need to set the maximum distances on the pistons safely before I do the launch sequence. You don't say... Okay, I do have to say that was very spectacular. Thanks. Well done. I do what I can. I do actually upload my faults, yes. Um right. How am I gonna reconnect these in a sane fashion? I might have to build this from um from scratch. <laughs> I think reconnecting this is going to be challenging. Just a little. Since when do you back down from a challenge? Um. When the challenge feels like it'll be boring. <laughs> I. 
I felt that movement on an emotional level. That is basically me trying to get out of bed. Okay, I'm just doing I'm doing this. I'm grinding it down and I'm rebuilding it a little bit quicker. I think I these think are enough pistons. Lady. I think four is enough. I think next time what I need to launch though is something with an antenna on it. And a little battery. So we can see how far it goes. That way we'll get some useful data out of it. Uh, I'll be right back. I just need to take a quick fire break. Uh oh. Leaving me alone with chats. Rebuild an out of projector? A projector won't help with um with subgrids. We don't have that plugin. Flash mod. Not sure which one it is. Whoa, jeez. Thank you, crazy. I'm sure Spetty will want to take a look at it soon as well. Okay, now chat. How do we make it so that Spritzy gets on there? Oh, actually, Knida, you have a good point. I can just put it from my drone's connector. I'm not sure why I keep going all the way down. Oh, that was too late. I guess I should look at this clip. Do nothing? I'm not sure what's going to happen. Okay, bring it across. Here we go. In three, two, one. Whoa! <laughs> or it could all explode. <laughs> two, one. Whoa! <laughs> I'm just trying to see in the clip where the blocks explode. went. Because they were up there for a long time. In three. Speed, 0.25. Two. There we go. One. Oh my goodness, so much scrap as well. Yeah. Pretty cool. Catapults are awesome. They're fun. Silly, but fun. Wow. <laughs> you monster. Thank you. It is you for just leaving. Oh, yeah. Uh, just leaving? No, just drinking yeah. so much water I had to take a bio break. <laughs> Yeah, how dare you have human needs? You need to have inhuman needs, is that what you're saying? Okay, so this time what I'm gonna do, once I've once I've made this thing, um is oh, come on. I will slowly extend the pistons until I find their maximums, and then I will set those maximums so that they can safely do their thing. Or... Okay, I won't lie. More safely do their thing. Keep running down. And help it. Safely is a relative thing here. I am trying to get since this to go is... to insane speeds. Like, since when is anything we do safe? How many times have we died during this? <laughs> Fewer than would have been I don't expected. Count.
Also, now you can babysit chat. I could be gonna be a bee as well. Okay. Gonna chat, do you need babysitting? <laughs> yeah, I'll be right back. Alrighty. Okay, so. The theory is sound, I think. The practice is something I have not done in so long, I've forgotten what some of the caveats were and some of the things I had to be careful about. So we shall see what happens here. Um, I'm trying to think of any of the other things I ran into in Survival Maybe when I built... Wait, this was... Yeah, Survival Maybe I built this catapult design. Why won't you place? This is really annoying. Oops, that's the wrong thing to grind down. Something about these blast door blocks is not playing nice for me. Uh, they are blast door blocks, Kaneda. Just not liking me. Uh, let's try this. Try using. Oh, it doesn't like that. Hmm. This is the trouble with small grid pistons: is they don't have the same clearances the large grid ones do. Large grid ones, you can sort of nest them right beside each other, but small grid, you do have to give that extra bit of space around them. I wonder whether these would work. I think these have smaller collisions on small grid now. Oopsie. Downside of elite grinders. <laughs> and me never using the uh, accurate grind mode, which is available to me, but I just never use it. Let's get you over that way so I can reach the bottom of that. Hmm. Uh, will you let me place one of these? Yes. Okay. That is fine then. Still not liking me. Why is it being like this? This is really weird. Let's be placed the first one, but then not the next one. I wonder if. What happened to chat? Why are they all going accurate grind mode? Oh, because I ground off the end of the the arm. I think people are asking what it is, and I'm kind of curious now as well. Oh, there's, there's a grind mode with advanced welding that allows you to just grind the specific block you're aiming at and not anything beyond it. I've never used it. Oh. I've actually never used it. I know it's there. I have just never used it. Why won't you let me place that pest at? Because shenanigans, that's why. I know, right? Yeah. Why all the shenanigans? Because shenanigans. No shenanigans on there, no shenanigans on there. Don't want it on the hinge.
Okay, if that's uh. not gonna work, I can probably make do with these four and see what happens. Did not realize we had an orcsy in here. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure that really qualifies. <laughs> Why can't you work? I mean, if that doesn't qualify as an orc, it does qualify as an orc. I think it has to be deeper. Well, give it your best shot. No. <laughs> I feel like there's too much Thank build up now, I can't do it. Too much pressure. I tried. What? Yo, as a content creator, are feeling pressure to do something? No <gasps> way! Uh, what have you joined? Me trying to figure out how to get a catapult to launch as fast as I possibly can. That's what you've joined. And being stymied by pistons misbehaving. No, wait, that's not what I was doing. I was doing this. I have a plan. I have a plan. You do? No. I'm oh. completely lying and talking nonsense. Oh, nothing new. Inventory full. Uh, I dare say the lying bit is new. I don't usually lie. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna attach to a rotor there. We have. Mm -hmm. I find that a bit hard to believe. Somebody who just lied saying they don't often lie. Um... Okay. Yeah. Alright, have a plan. I think it'll work. Created more space, so I can leave a full block gap around the pistons, which will hopefully allow me to place more pistons. Because more pistons equals more better. The mid-block armor plate. Oh yeah, that could have been a decent option to try as well. See if that was enough clearance. Forget about using the I'm armor plates trained. in these settings because I've mostly learned to do this stuff before armor plates were a thing. Mm -hmm. It's good for me to move this over anyway, whether I find a better way to do it or not, because um, it's going to be one of those things where I may need to keep adding more pistons later. We shall see. See if I have enough. Don't lie, I'm just wrong. You hmm? just forgot the rules. Oh, I know that's cheating. Was um quite the good quote. Indeed. I had fun making the merch with that. Trying to make a space engineer's glove cross its fingers. Yeah. That is one of the harder hand poses to do. In Photoshop. Also very difficult. I'd imagine at least. I think I went the wrong way. Right, let's see if this works. These are going to be possibly annoying to place. Talking about annoying to place. Anything small grid without a jetpack. Yeah. Tell me about it. Yeah. Why did you do this to us, Shadow? You agreed. Okay, something janky. Ah, oh, there we go. There. Something janky was going on with the placement for some reason. Oh no. It's totally the lack of clearance. Okay. But it was a fun challenge. Well, still is. Just 
it is limiting my grouping, which is making me a little bit sad. Yeah, it does make the design work a little more challenging. But then again, base design does become more interesting, because you actually need to remember that you need to walk everywhere. It's true. Does add some elements there. Can be ah. fun. Yes, inventory full. Inventory full. Inventory full. I did have fun with my um, tutorial that I published last night, putting that little bit in there for people who actually know what's going on. Could not resist. Oh. Do not have enough. Do not have enough platform to land on. Some more. Now, do I stick with the wonky plate now that I know how to get around this, or do I make it look a bit nicer? I think I walk off the end because I put my hands on the keyboard in the wrong position. That's what I think I do. Good job. Thanks. Takes skill. I think we're gonna make this. I'm thing sure nice. it does. Now that I know how to avoid my particular issue. Oh, welding in this darkness is unpleasant. Why, King? Why? We've even got the mod on that reduces it. Yeah, no, we don't actually. We wanted to remove it. No, we got rid of the old one, but we got the new one. Did we? Hmm. Ah. This is long enough. It's either flashing lights or very loud engines in this base. Uh, yes. Or, if I enable inertia... Dampeners, no! It's vibrating! No! Or not. Oh no! <coughs> it's not long enough. Oh, 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 no, it let me. I'm just, I'm kind of trying to avoid those, uh, Nita. I'm not sure about using the hover engines. Hover engines, the... The flat mouse? Yeah, flat mouse. It is... The thing I find hard with the flat mouse is that I haven't, uh, yet gotten in my head how many of them I need for various tasks. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> that might explain some of our some of my problem here. Also, a uh, quick question: Is there a reason why you're using blast door instead of like small conveyors? Uh, because I thought it'd look nicer. Because it's not a conveyor bit, and because old old habits die hard. Um, small conveyors used to have bigger than full block collisions. Mm -hmm. See one of the early episodes of Survival Unlikely to see that the result of that. Um, so it's just an old habit. Okay. I'm gonna try and use the conveyor this time and see what it does. Oh, my power is already full. Not sure what I was waiting on. Oh, hang on. Um, it doesn't actually like me using them at the bottom here because they've got bigger collisions. I'm going to need more batteries than this. I rotate those a weird way. I did. Mm. Oh, okay, that's it. I'm adding a bright light in here. <laughs> and now Shadow's going to blind herself permanently. As long as I don't have to see that flashing, I'm okay with it. Oh, that's even more annoying. I can place a hinge on this thing, but I can't place a piston. What? Gotta be kidding me. That's just evil. I don't think there are any kittens here. Evil! 
Evil. Evil. Okay, fine. We're doing it this way. I have another idea. Clamp and clamp. <laughs> there we go. That's way better. No, oh, I hope it is. I mean, this yeah, catapult build was fun. supposed to be relatively quick because I've done it before, but it hasn't turned out that way. Oh, it's still bad. Ugh. Blah. Right. Usually light doesn't trigger me as much. Like I can play Beat Saber with full on epilepsy mode. That that's fine, but it's just that rapid flashing that gets to me. The funny thing is, I never noticed it in Space Engineers until other people started telling me about it, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, this is actually bad. But it never bothered me in the slightest. Until people told me. It, in dark situations like this, it's way more noticeable. Yeah. Yeah, this setup probably did work not too long ago. The issue here is, I think, this being a dedicated server. Like, it's going... You need bigger clearances, bigger tolerances around subgrids on a dedicated server. It's just... a thing. It's just one of those things that... Yeah. Is a thing. Uh, it's why, okay, we'll for those of you who see. remember my escape from purgatory minor that I built that Kavak and Kanajashi made fun of because it kept having issues. Um, the wheels were really close to each other which works perfectly fine in single player but as soon as you get to a high latency environment it goes very very wrong very very quickly because they catch on each other they catch on the body and I didn't appreciate that at the time. was a learning experience for me. I thought I'm learning in this game. Nope. It's, uh, to me, that's a positive thing. Yeah, I didn't mean it as a negative. I didn't think you did, but I thought I'd clarify. Always good to be clear about things. I do like that, you know, as I am over five and a half thousand hours into this game, I'm still learning new things. Mm-hmm. Keeps it interesting. Do I do one more row? Yeah, let's... Nine pistons. May as well go the whole hog. Okay. Yeah, stuff that works in single player will often not work in mult in on a server. Tends to work better, like tends to work fine in a local hosted server, like a local hosted multiplayer, if you're the host. But if you're ever the client, uh, a lot of these things go weird. Which does contribute to why I tend to play so much local hosted multiplayer where I'm the host. Um, also helps that when playing with, say, Capac and TFE, I've got the fastest PC of the three of us. There's a, no slouches, but it makes most sense for me to be the host. Issue with flag war. Yeah. And I mean, it, if you're playing with three, if three people are playing together, two of them are going to have lag issues. It's just the nature of the beast. Indeed. 
Yeah, first advantage for the win. Someone's got to have it, so it may as well be me. I mean, to be fair, you are the one making the content as well. Yeah. So. <laughs> there, are, there are very logical reasons to it. Much as Capac and TFA get frustrated by it. You have the perfect soundbite for that. Did you pl Are you... Oh, I thought that might have been timed. <laughs> Sorry. By luck, but no. Sorry to get your hopes up. <sighs> That's the point. Uh, I'm going to do something weird. I'm going to extend this. When don't you? Um... I like to think that I don't do anything weird when I'm eating. You're eating? No, when I am eating, I like to think that I'm not oh. doing anything weird. <laughs> I was about to say. I don't think I'm a weird eater. I mean, some might say the things that I eat are weird, but I don't. I like to think that the way that I eat isn't weird. Not something I can comment about, and I don't know if I should be. Happy for it? About it? I, I don't know. It's this one. Oh, actually. Oh, no. Ah, oh, never mind. I know what I'm saying is weird. I definitely say weird Whoa. things. That's I, never a Are you okay? What? Your character oh. was glitching all over the place. Oh, yeah, I bet. The, I'm getting quite the jiggle because this whole thing is built on a hinge. Ah, the jiggle wiggle. Oh. Like a nope. hinge that's mounted on the base is how I'm building this robot. So it's all it's all very strange. That's a drill. I just so. tried to weld up two blocks with a drill. I, I think I'm losing it. <laughs> the strange thing that I was doing just then that started this conversation was I was extending a piston out so that I could push an extra block in to push this back so that it lines up better with the rotor. Ah. Oh. Oh. I don't actually remember what the correct offset is for the advanced one. I think Wait. it might be oh. 0 0.008. Eight millimeters. Whoa! I just learned something about the vanilla large atmospheric thrusters. Hmm. They're not flat on the top. No. They're not. Yeah, sure enough. Stents on. It hurts me. Velocity. I want nice and slow. Oh, actually, speaking about vanilla thrusters. I found a fun uh, building trick the other day. Oh? With uh, the large ion thruster. The large grid. Where uh, you can kind of make it look... Vanilla one. Oh, the regular one. Yeah. Where you can kind of make it look like uh, the thruster pod is inside armor. Mm hmm. Are you going to elaborate? I... do you mind if I quickly cheat in an example and then remove it? That's probably the quickest way to do this. Yeah. Yeah! My ankles. My poor, poor ankles. Ooh, that was a mistake. Let me quickly get like a color that I know. Hopefully that's alright. Yep. It's not... Okay. Hinge off. Rotor off. Hinge on. And. This needs to be up a little bit. This is not going to work. 
Uh, my lower limit has to go up to... Yeah, let's go up to 40. Then we can turn you off. Yeah! Are you okay? I was about to squish myself. Oh, good job. Uh, pressing the right button might help. Oh. And I built a place, right. Yeah, fixed. Yeah! Also found a way to uh, quickly fix that static huh. uh, grid not connecting to another static grid issue. Just quickly place a block. Oh, right. Because it extends out beyond the actual thing. You can mess with it at that point. Yeah, exactly. cool. And that needs then on the other side as well. And yeah, then you only see the thruster pod without the thruster Energy itself. Low. Yeah. I wonder if it works for like the warfare ones as well. Probably does. Don't think so. I oh, know. I don't think that the warfare one actually Sticks extends out beyond. Thanks, um, life. Since I have the thruster here anyway. Thank you for 50 months. <laughs> Thanks, man. Okay, so for this, I just need to make sure that the piss, that this hinge doesn't go too far over. Now. Because mm. if it falls flat, it'll do weird things to this. As long as it's somewhere nearby, this, as I extend one of these pistons, this should start going over. Like, say, if I extend this, we'll start seeing the arm move, and this will wobble a bit. I'm doing my best not to remove the base. So am I. Or am I? Uh, I hope you are. <laughs> Some might argue what I'm doing is my best to remove the base. Thanks, Intan. Thank you for seven months. You mean leave this base? No, I mean remove. Concerning. Okay, so I needed no I need no more than four meters total. No, wait, it's less than that. Uh it'll be two meters and then this one's Sorry about 1. the flashing guys. 3.7 meters across nine pistons. We could go three point six to make the maths easier and go that means forty centimeters of extension each. Yeah, that works. Cool. Right. Button time. <laughs> Two predictions. All right, maybe. Let me set this thing up first. Oh wait, oh, we can use the pedestal button. That's better. It's more fun. Keep forgetting that's a thing on small grid. for a frosted check. Let's see. Upwards, check. I do not understand right. what's happening on the array of pistons and hinges and I'm too scared to ask. Shadow, do you understand what I'm doing with the pistons and hinges? Uh, let me quickly check. Also, Sinfen, thanks so much for the subscription. Ooh. Oh, I'm fine. Because I'll happily explain it. I just thought if Shadow doesn't understand it, then I can um, explain it to Shadow at the same time as I explain it to chat. So I can have someone asking questions. Which one of these really has the distance on? Well, I see that you're trying to make a ritual to summon Clang. No. I mean, we'll probably get a few sparks and a bit bits and pieces, but no. Mm. So is this that? is basically your way of building speed. Ah. And then the rotor will be yeeted up. Assuming the rotor is off. Yes. I think I understand what you're trying to do here. I should not stand on this, should I? Probably not, no. <laughs> so, those of you who aren't familiar, pistons have a lot more force that they can apply than hinges or rotors can. 
so they can be used as actuators for pistons or hinges, uh, for rotors or hinges by arranging them like I've done here. Basically, I have nine pistons here. Pistons can go a maximum of five meters per second, which isn't especially fast. But because they're super strong, if I stack them all together, then they're effectively, in this setup, going to have a maximum speed of 45 meters per second. So they're going to push this rotor around this hinge at 45 meters per second. Which means that at the arm's distance, because this is really close to the origin of the hinge, at the length of the arm, it could hopefully get up to 250 meters per second. And at that point, we've reached our speed limit and we will get the longest launch distance that we can. Don't we have a speed limit of 300? I thought the thrusters capped out at 250. Thrusters, yes. Oh, well, whatever. Either way. No, it, it'll be fine. I want to be getting up over. to those kind of speeds. So, uh, you stand on it, I press the button? Uh, no, we're gonna put a, an antenna on it, I think, this time. Oh. But first I have to set it up properly so it shouldn't explode. Shouldn't. Still might, but hopefully it won't. Maximum distance of 0 0.4. Now I just need to find the one that I need to Aww. change again. That's unfortunate, and I meant to balance. You should have just pressed enter for your cat. I would love to find another <laughs> uh, secret message. Also, actually, talking about your cat, would you count? Is that a thing yet? Uh, you can stack rotors. But you don't get as much torque as easily as you can with the pistons. Like these pistons create. Oh, sorry, you don't get the same speed. So these will be able to push this central hinge around at greater than 60 RPM, whereas 60 RPM is the maximum speed for a rotor or a hinge. But these can push well beyond that 60. So that means it goes faster as well as having the extra torque. So it's stronger and faster. And a whole lot scarier. So I think Clank just, just shoved me to the side. Yeah, I've um, been jiggling around all over the place over here. 0 0.1. Yeah, no, you are dead. Ooh. 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 <laughs> yeah. That's about how that's supposed to work. Uh, I did not like the way it was coming toward me. Um. Uh, now, just need to set up the group. Like that. Something. Much wobble. Very much wobble. Okay. Let's gradually uh, stuff it. <laughs> nothing. Nothing fun about gradual. Okay. Uh, I think there's a position. very high chance if either of us were to stand on this that we would die at launch. Well, one uh, way to figure it out. So that's why I think we need to broadcast something. Are you seriously going to stand? I'm ready. Yeah. Oh boy. Okay. I put away my tools, so don't worry. Prediction? Do we do a prediction? Yeah, we can. Um, okay, so I think there are three possibilities here. The three possibilities are... Death before launch. What will happen with the catapult? Let's go... What are we going to do? Um, Shadow makes it over the base. Oh, yeah. So I'm just going to call that over, over the, base the base because we don't have enough characters. Mm -hmm. Over the base. 
into space. Ooh, that's a fun one. Over the base, into space. Death on the launch pad. Uh, which I think we launch. have to just call on the launch pad. Because of, uh, which is censoring. Of prediction uh, options. Wait, you can't say death upon launch? I don't know that it'll like death. It's very, very picky on things. Like, I've, I've made fun of myself, like, using slightly insulting language before, and it's hated me. Okay. So, over the base... You clone upon launch? Got it. <laughs> could do that. Over the base, into space, <laughs> on the launch pad. On the launch pad includes the... All three of these can include the catapult exploding, but on the launch pad is almost certainly a catapult exploding. There we go. I've started the prediction on my end. Set it to two minutes. Yeah, I should probably do that as well. I was like against the thruster, but we'll see. Oh, I said mine to one minute. Oh well. Yeah. Go, go, go! Again. Yeah, I need to clean I up my home course. There's no point blueprinting this because it's a subgrid. Yeah, we don't have that plugin. Okay, so let's see. Ion. 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 And I won. Echo. Wait, what did I just miss in the chat? Uh... And Hydro. So, the thing that you have to remember here is. Pistons are faster when stacked. They can achieve a higher speed with more force than what hinges and rotors can. And that's why we utilize pistons to make the catapult launcher. They're stronger and faster. Why do I suddenly feel very anxious? I'm not sure. <laughs> it's got nothing to do with you standing out there on one leg. It's called... I know what it's called. I'm just special. Oh, I get a spoon. Yeah. And the closer I put the high-powered pistons to the... Fulcrum? I think it is. As long as they're strong enough to provide enough torque to spin it around at that location, uh, the more multiplier I get for how f for the length of that arm. Mm -hmm. The more impact it has. Okay. Prediction is done. You ready, Shadow? No. <laughs> okay. Let me know when you're ready. I, I mean, I am ready. Oh. As ready as I can be. <laughs> okay. Uh, you can launch me after this. I launch you first. Okay, Assuming this survives, you launch me mm -hmm. after this. Okay. Oh. Thanks, Ghost Outcast. Thank you for the five gift subs. Launching in five, four, three, Ooh. two, one. Whammo! <laughs> <laughs> Where have you gotten to? How fast did- Oh, Jared, you be- I think that was satisfactorily over the base. Okay, now, does it- does it rud when I flip it back? About here. Ooh, jeez. <laughs> oh. About here. GPS. What distance did we get? So that was me still going down. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, that was already, after I your peak. You, so you made it almost yeah. 800 meters in the air. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. But that was amazing. <laughs> Just the instant acceleration. Well, I could set up a button on the launching arm itself. But I think you need to launch me first. Oh, wait, yeah, I should put no, my stuff away. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> otherwise I have to go and pick it up.
Oh, that was amazing. Okay. Uh, should we resolve the prediction first? Yes. Before we forget. Choose outcome over the base. All right. When you're ready, launch me. Maybe a little countdown. Oh, do, you, uh, do you want to do the countdown? No, you do the countdown. Okay. Actually, I should have, have my HUD up so that we can see how fast I get. Uh -huh. yep. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> and he's gone. <laughs> yep. Oh. I got up to, I think it was around 130, 140 meters a second. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, that's so much fun. And you just press the button again to reset it, or? Oh, uh, yeah. Don't stand underneath it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah. You know, it, it comes back with just as much force as it launches. I think the arm oh, needs to be longer. The... <laughs> Split. It hit the grid so hard that I jumped from the yep. little platform there onto the button. Yep. Yep, yep. <laughs> it does that. Oh, that's amazing. Well done. That's okay, fun. I have an idea uh, if you're game to try it. And if you've okay. still not picked up your proper equipment. I was about to, so good thing you said it. Okay. Also, navigating on this grid is Can you stand on the same position you were in last time? I think that's going to be the better view of what's about to happen. What? You'll see. What do you mean? Stand on the, on the arm in the same position you launched from last time. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> We're doing proper testing now. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, groups. Pistons. Robots. Are you ready? Ah. Uh. Yeah, let's go. Okay, three, two, one, launching. Oh. Oh, I got flung off the thing. Oh, <laughs> Shadow got murdered. <laughs> I think Ow. I know what happened to Shadow then. Okay. All right. Ow. So <laughs> part of part of what I, so you slid up the arm and so stuck to it so it was able to launch you more horizontally. <laughs> oh yeah, I had some also, steel plate on like me. A, oh. Hmm. This looks like a very long-necked man. With very small, stumpy arms. So... I think what we need to do... Let's oh, just reverse this. Don't worry, it's crazy. Down. Thank you from... Oh. Oh. Then... Our upper limit <laughs> is going to be... Thank you for making those clips. Minus five. Then... I'm just going to grab a little bit of steel plate. So the I'll catapult should no time. longer be able to murderize you. In theory. I'm taking the top one. You want the top one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's see what happens. Oh, I see uh, what you did. Yeah, so you gotta hit the button. Oh. Five, four, three, two, one. Thought speed. Woo! Oh, <laughs> getting length, getting distance this time. There we go. I made it another 300 meters over my longest range before.
I am about 250 meters away from my old body. Okay, let's check out how far that body is from the actual launch site to see what sort of range we're getting. Because we have to keep doing this until we have two and a half kilometers of range. That was my peak. Okay, if I stand at the catapult, my furthest body is only 900 meters. This isn't good enough. We need faster, higher, stronger, flatter. Mine is about two case. Okay, maybe if I launch myself from the top, I can see. I also shared my. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that is so fun. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Look at the distance on this. Yeah, it really does get you two k's, doesn't it? Two point one. Oh, I got 2.5 Ks. I have a feeling I know what the rest of our stream is going to be. Us <laughs> <laughs> launching ourselves. No, I, I really need to get working on that drone because it's... It's going to bother you? Well, technically mostly done. Yeah, that as well. Alright, well, I've successfully... Uh, tested my launch. Just need to get a little bit more speed, I think. Uh, do I try and stack more pistons in? Is that going to be the better way to go? Or do I tr keep trying to make the arm longer? Okay, left wide. Left wide? Yes, left wide. Uh, backwards, forwards. Okay, then this thing should be ready to detach. Oh, yeah, I shall hydrate. I will try longer arm. I'm just going to stick paint. with basic tools for the moment. Considering I'm not going to remember to get my stuff back. Okay, let's see if this is long enough. Uh, an Atmo thruster would achieve nothing on the arm because of the way Space Engineers works. It's weird. You'd think it could achieve something, but in my experience it never has. Uh, so if you attached an Atmo thruster to anywhere on this arm, it would be putting its force somewhere in the middle of it, which means it's very difficult to get enough force out of it for it to be useful. Uh, I'll test a tank and stuff once I'm happy with the distance that we're getting. I want to make sure we're getting, like, genuinely much further than I need. And this is heaps quicker to test with my own body. Because my furthest body location now is 2.77 kilometers. We really need the Capac Benny Hills theme now. Alright, here goes. I'm launching. Three, Back. two, one, go! Woo! Well, I got more <laughs> height then. Didn't get the distance. Yeah, I slid off. I have to try again. And they made it 1.3 Ks. I feel like we're going to need more biomatter soon. Make more clones. Aren't you glad we don't play that way? Where we have to pay for clones? Yeah. Although well, that would be a fun challenge. <sighs> like a uh, challenge, like properly a challenge run and Lives have costs. But it just... Like, we don't die often enough for it to have an impact. Beyond, like, the earliest bit of the game. There. 
So I think it'd struggle, it'd struggle to feel any different. And then it'd just be annoying. And then we'd just be like, eh, let's just get rid of it. It's not changing the game at all. Yeah. Fair enough. That's my feeling on it anyway. Oh. Okay, nice and in the center. Oh yeah, and it has Gerald Power. That's for two, sure. Two, one, go! Oh! It seems like you went very vertical. I, I didn't go anywhere. I just oh. died. That would explain why your marker disappeared so suddenly. Uh, no, Papa Tim. Mass will have zero impact because of the way Space Engineers works. Density, mass don't matter, assuming that the force that I'm applying can push that increased mass at the same distance as it can push me. Because mass doesn't have any impact on the gravitational force that's being applied to an object. Things fall in gravity at the same speed regardless of mass if they're in a vacuum, which Space Engineers effectively is a vacuum. Oh. Are you calling the game empty? <laughs> so you need to think about everything in Space Engineers as though it's in a vacuum. Alright, trying again. Oh, I got a lot of height then, again. Keep sliding off sideways. I'm going to need to make the spoon a bit more of a spoon. Spoon? But did still get good good distance. Ish. Ish? Well, 1.36 Ks? It's spherical cows the game. Yeah. Hey, Solarin. Welcome, Raiders. This is why I'm testing with my body. Because <laughs> trying to test this with blocks is just so much more time consuming. Mm -hmm. okay, I am going to do if I get knocked off here this time, though. I oh, didn't get knocked off, good. I'm going to build more of a platform. For so science! Oh. Dang it. So, I am kind of curious about one thing, right? Mm -hmm. What if we launched a drone that way? Uh, what do you mean? Drone to do what? Just like, transport. Launching. Oh, you mean this Getting is a, a l low energy requirement launch system? Yeah. Uh, it's certainly doable. It's not as... Um, I don't know how well a drone would cope with it. Probably not at all. Yeah, like it'd probably take so long for it to recalculate where it's supposed to be that it'd end up using up more power anyway. I don't know. I don't know. Never done it. Or science? Would crouching help? I don't know. Uh, I'm going to see if the cup hel helps, and if not, I'll crouch. Three, two, one, go! Well, I died on the launch pad. Third person in my launch, probably not a bad idea. Also, I'm going to do one other thing. Pistons, yeah, I'm pistons. doing pretty good. Apart from the fact that I lost a few clones today. But... 0.38. I'm going to make it a bit shorter. Find that one that's... 
So I think it might be having some issues when it reaches the maximum end. It's kind of creating some twist. So I want to see if that reduces it as well. Did I do this? <laughs> Put a seat block on and sit on it and then... Yeah, that would probably increase my survivability, yes. Who cares about that? Oh, got a clean launch this time. Still a lot of height, though. Oh, it's not reliable yet. Or... No, we're like, I think I'm struggling to get the distance. I was getting better distance on the shorter arm. I think we might possibly be hitting piston strength limits here. Maybe. Well, keep doing what you're doing because you're giving me time to greeble. <laughs> All right, we'll try more more spoon backing. See if that helps. The cake is a lie, and apparently Glados would like a word with you. Probably because of your human testing. Boom. Oh, 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 oh. Mm -hmm. This is flatter. Are you also, my speed to go... is oh, still wait, no. 130 meters a second, and I'm already at 1.3 k's away. Impact at 2.24 kilometers. Nice. Hey, this is better. Uh, yes, this will be. This will have to be mag log locked down. It. <laughs> if you make it heavy enough, it can tolerate it, but it's usually best if you mag lock. Right, let's watch this in third person. That's still got some weird twist to it. So it's probably still too long. That's not what I meant to do. I just want to see in third person how this goes. Let's add an extra one now anyway. Since I can. Right. Oh. Okay. Third person launch. Three, two, one, go. I secretly do want to try catching you during one of those launches. <laughs> well, I was close to my other body this time, so the launches are relatively consistent. Relatively? Yeah, I was in within like, I don't know, definitely within 50 meters of it, but probably 20. Ooh, yeah, okay, that is very consistent. Yeah, like we're this is a this is a dumb mortar style system. It's not a uh, <laughs> it's not a precise munition. Okay. I think I am done greebling this thing because the top greebles is just gonna be a pain. Okay, launching. Oh, Dying! Jeez. <laughs> uh. You crazy, crazy man. Yeah, it needs more pistons. I think I need about twice as many pistons. This thing is going to need some lights, actually. Uh... Alright, time for twice as many pistons. Oh no. Uh, 
let's get my tools back, because then I'm going to be welding a bit of stuff. No, I would say that you've lost it, but I don't think you've ever had it. I don't know what you're talking about. I've always had nonsense. There. That should get me somewhere. Okay, so to do this well, I think what I'll do is grind out this section here. Take off this whole length here. And what I need to do is bring it back over to the side here and then we'll put another nine pistons in. This will totally be fine. It'll work great. Uh -huh. Any way to slow down that initial fling into a slightly gradual motion? Not really without, or at least not without a script. With a script you could possibly do it. Uh, but you need the, it needs to happen so quickly I'm not sure the game has enough ticks between start of launch and end of launch to do it as a gradual thing. Enough it physics seems ticks. very instant. Yeah. And that's the other thing. This is basically happening within a couple of physics ticks. Yeah, I think it's fine. Oh, it's such a utility vehicle. Mm. Ah, I want to creeble more. <laughs> but I should be able to get my character... Like, what I'm aiming for is getting my character launched at least three kilometers fairly consistently. Once I've got that, then I'll have a look at what I need to do to get the blocks to be launched. Because uh, the character is so much lighter, it should be able to go... Like, I should be able to generate enough torque to launch it further. And if I can't even launch the character the full distance I need, then I'm not going to be able to do it. Otherwise. Mm. Quick and dirty testing. A large grid small hydro tank destroys light armor and breaks turrets in about a third the area of a large tank. Um, and I, so... Third the volume. I presume you're meaning. There, Yosh. So the radius is a third. Sort of thing. Okay, I think the hydrogen drone is. Let me visualize it. Done. I'd say. Good. I'm just thinking, like, am I still missing something? Capac seems to think so. Place relatively well. Oh no. Uh, this should work, I think. Yeah, it is empty, but also it usually helps to test an empty ship for responsiveness as well before loading it up. Usually helps to test the empty before loading it up because then you don't, when you crash, you don't lose the load. That as well. <laughs> there are reasons to do these yes. things. Uh, you. Let's just call you B so I can find you more easily. Um, right. Done that roll. No way to have. Oh, no, that's fine. Sneaky on the signal. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, this could actually be really bad. Doing that. 
I need to think about this. I just realised I hey. might have actually been making something that would have collided with everything else. The probe um, drill. I think we might do this. Fulgin. Um, still trying to yeet myself as far as I can to see whether I can hit the enemy. That's where we're at. <laughs> right now. No. Right, it's gonna let me place. Eh, I'll just do it this way. Oh, no, uh, no, 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 no. That's. Oof. That was almost me in orbit. Oh, good job. So I think I, it might be safe to say that it does have enough uh, lifting thrust. <laughs> You've ac almost accidentally gone to space? Yeah, I'd say so. The game speed cannot calculate fast enough where one third of the pistons move a little slower and then the next third moves faster and the final third goes full fast. I can give you a smooth launch. Yeah. Yeah. The thing I've got to figure out once we get the adequate distance is I need to be able to then figure out how I'm going to do the launch of the block and how to do the release of the block. Um... Sensors have a very low tick rate. So sensors aren't great for detecting where in the launch cycle the arm is. So I probably can't use sensors to detect launch position. But... Uh, so I'm trying to think of what else could work. And I'm drawing a blank as to what might work best. Uh, don't worry, Cyberkeep. I don't plan on using Trinidad drones, so the downward thrust does not matter. It is something that my script, oh, my script, the script I'm going to use can compensate for. Which is spam. Yeah, um, it's not ham, it's ham. Okay. And an event block detect hinge angle. Um, an event controller could be used here, but I'm not sure what their tick rate is either. So we'll have to test a few things. Oh, now you'll let me place you. Jack. Toying with me. So, about that base assault. Yeah. I'm working on it. Is that something... Yeah, but is that something we're gonna do today, or...? Uh, might be next time. Okay. I feel like having... Uh, messed around with pistons and catapults... I feel like I've achieved... Stuffing around enough that it, I've had fun. <laughs> so hopefully other people have too. Yourself included. It was very no, fun no, no. to be launched up into the air. We may not we may not launch into combat today, but that doesn't mean we won't do it next week. Just means it's not as soon as we'd hoped. Which kind of is the yeah. story of everything Shadow and I do together. <laughs> we? Distracted? No. I can't believe you agreed to me doing this. It's a fun engineering challenge, and I know you like doing those crazy things. I do. Who am I, I to say no?
Uh, Pam cannot lock two mobile grids, no. Unless the mobile grid is stationary, then sure. But not two moving grids. Although I'm yeah. fairly certain Sam can. But I haven't really used Sam yet, so. I'm surprised that they haven't and updated uh, Pam to use, utilize whatever it. I wonder if it's even utilizable, actually. I don't know if it's open to the API. To the program box. Finish your sentence? The thing where vanilla can track where a beacon is. Ah. Yeah, I. I suspect it's like just blocked to the AI blocked. I don't know how complicated that logic is. How am I going to automate the collection of hydrogen then? Well, that is I should explain what I'm planning. So I do plan on having a static grid at the ice lake, which is basically the storage and transfer point. So yeah, I'll sense. have some miners going into the base and well then the hydrogen being pumped out into the drones and then being sent home. Drop warhead to evaporate ice and suck it in a fence. Unfortunately, we don't have warhead spear seeker. Don't have warheads, so we're making our own. And I think we both were excited by the added challenge that that gives, so we've stuck with it rather than going back and getting ammo. Which we could have done at any point. a long time as well. Yeah. In hindsight, that would have been way faster than whatever we're doing right now. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. This is but more fun. fun. <laughs> that is another common question asked. Yep. Yep, yep. I have a very stupid idea. That it was not the button I thought I was pressing. Yeah, there. And... Efficiency versus fun, yep. And despite Shadow being a factory game, being very fond of factory games. In this case, efficiency is not the goal. I may be a factory nut, but I do like fun as well. Yeah, you only like efficiency when it's fun to be efficient. Or when you find it fun to be efficient. For example, I, in Factoria, like doing trains, so I do most of my things with trains. Is it efficient? Probably not. Is it fun? Yeah. Am I really going to do another whole row of pistons here? Seems like a mistake. But... Oh no, I'm going to have to set all the... I'm going to I'm going to have to do maths. Yeah. You did try a base with no conveyors, only trains and inserters. I have yet to try that. Currently I'm working on city blocks, which is basically like building a beehive. With each little section being a production facility. And then trains there. moving stuff in between. Oh, I keep falling off my, my rover. I need more of a platform. Good job. Thanks. I've also added another 12 pistons so far. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I'm going to go for another six beyond that. So we'll have 27 pistons. Which means we should be able to get the pistons themselves moving <laughs> at uh, 135 meters a second. If my... Simple maths is correct.
This model makes every item of fluid you have to pipe. Whoa. <laughs> I think that time you were wrong, Kamak. I think that was Shadow's excited sound. That I'm is intrigued. my scared, excited, intrigued, and a little bit disturbed as well. All in one. Checks out. I love the concept. I'm scared of how the base would look. Because that would be proper, like, spaghetti. -o. No! No! Oh, Thought it okay? wasn't gonna let me place that piston. There we go. Let's see oh, if I can lift this stuff now. It's gonna be glorious if it doesn't explode on its first use. I really hope it that doesn't does explode not sound on its promising. first use. <laughs> I mean, the fact that the other one that it didn't before does fill me with some hope. Low. Some. Not a uh -huh. lot, but some. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, shadow took. Duh, what? I needed some cargo. Or at the base. I see. Don't do it the efficient way, do it the fun way. This is my time to play that card. <laughs> right. Cannot wait to see if this thing works. Uh, yeah, I'm probably will blueprint this, but it doesn't help me rebuild it if it breaks, because well, it's upgrades. Uh, but I will still blueprint it anyway, because if it works, then I probably should keep a blueprint of it for when I want to muck around with this sort of thing in the future. I think this is more pistons than I built on my one in survival, maybe. I feel like an Amazon drone like this. I'm just carrying a package. So someone's going to shoot you down with a net gun and steal what's in the package? I sure hope not. Challenge accepted. Oh no. needs to go down further so that I can actually place the pistons. Okay. Uh, and yeah. these are not going to be able to extend far. Like, each piston's going to be going such a short distance. Okay, now I have to align that with that road ahead. I was about to say. It made the sound and everything of a block placing without placing the block. Oh, that's where it placed. Uh, what? 
Oh, just weird lag shenanigans. All right. <laughs> I think there is where I want this to be. What am I making? A catapult. <laughs> Why am I making it? Uh, good question. Because it Just... came up as Shadow and I were talking through some things and instead of just going ahead with the missile launches that we'd already made that were effective, we decided to do something completely different and unproven instead. Yep. But it's still the same concept, like we'll be throwing hydrogen tanks at them. It's true. Just a different method of delivery. And if it does end up working, a more efficient manner of delivery. That's also mostly true. This is given the situation if they are very accurate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if the spread is wide, uh, efficiency will be dubious. The fun is certain. That's the important thing. Oh, thinking about fun, I just got the stupidest idea. Oh. So, hydrogen tanks are very expensive and take a long time to weld up, right? Um. I mean, they can. They're moderately expensive, yeah. But what if I just build one at base and then carry it here? Like an empty one. Oh, you, you're thinking, as in so you don't have to make one over there. Yeah. I'm surprised you don't have heaps of resources over there now, though, given the, um... the amount of time it's had to work on it. Mm. Huh. I suppose I can... Why is this not... Oh. Ooh. Hmm? Uh, just things being, um, not great with something. Uh, my hinge and stuff being slightly inside things that they shouldn't be. Oh, oh yeah, they should hydrate. We'll just have to accept this is going to be a bit unpleasant. Okay, minimum distance. I think we're going to set to 0 0.35. So it's the limit before it does anything bad. <laughs> uh, this, this shouldn't explode. Assuming I set the limits right. That's going to be the key part. If I set the limits correctly, this should not explode. Just as it didn't last time. You sound very confident. The fact that there's three times as many Yotta Newtons involved should have no impact. <laughs> Maybe. I'm expecting the hinge to just evaporate. It's possible. I'm surprised it hasn't safety disconnected. <laughs> to be honest. Uh, right, catapult pistons. Let's add all of the other ones. Let's see. And so... I had 3.6 meters of extension to reach the top, so we'll go 3.5. 3.5, we're going to need a calculator. 3.5 meters divided by 27 pistons. So each piston should extend 130 millimeters. That's all. That's as far as they have to go. So the maximum distance 
should be 0 0.13. And this one's maximum distance should be 0 0.48. That's it. Uh, velocity minus 0 0.01. Okay, and reverse. Oh, no, this hinges on. Yeah, that was what I feared, Josh. Small grid hydro tanks, even large, not worth it. Damage is negligible. However, four small large grid tanks in square, two blocks apart, does more damage than a large tank. Oh. Okay. At super slow speed, it does not dissolve. Somehow. Partial success. Uh, do you want to be here for the full speed test? Uh, yeah, give me like 30 seconds. Oh wait, I need to put my stuff away. Okie dokie. I am ready for launch. Oh, did you know there was iron at our base? Yeah. Have you forgotten that already? That's why we built here. I was here. being serious. Oh. I couldn't tell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's... Mr. Junks, that's what I should have replied with. 30 seconds? I'll be dead by then. <laughs> oh, you're really setting up those old jokes here. Jeez. Rude. I think I set, <laughs> set up the piston speed. I did. Yep. So. Pistons have a combined speed of 135 meters per second. They are much closer to the fulcrum than I am. Therefore, my speed should be very, very... F Why did you wave? Because you arrived. Oh, you want me to push the button. Okay. Yep. You're, you're playing a dangerous game flying that anywhere near this. I know. I know. Okay. In five, four, three, I want to do this from third person view, two, one, launching. I'm dead. <laughs> so. What did you see? Basically, you were human when you went up. Then it looked like you turned into a grey jelly bean who got yeeted directly into the ground. Uh -huh. Maybe I need less... less scoop on the spoon. Oh. Uh... How far am I going to get launched when this comes back? Oh. That was a lot of jig. <laughs> hmm. That does not look happy. No. Interesting. I wonder if that has a, is going to have an impact. I might need to clear out the floor under where those pistons are. But I don't think I can by much. They prob the pistons should have been extended out this way. Ah, curses. I did it the wrong way. Alright, you ready again? Yep. In three. Two, one, go! Oh, motorize me again! That is the wrong direction. Oh yeah, Shadow just saw my body ragdoll backwards. <laughs> and spaghettify for a moment. Hmm. Did not realize you were that stretchy. Thanks, poisonous dwarf. Thank you for seven months.
Oh, then thank you, Tess Unit. Thank you for the clip. Oh, so many clips to. Ooh. Yeah, it bounces a lot. Um, I'm gonna do a thing. It's a stupid thing, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Because stupid is what we're doing. Apparently, this is the stupid stream. Isn't it oh, always? I see what you're doing. Yeah. You're gonna have to push the button for me, though. Oh, right, yeah. Ooh. Let's thing then. Uh, may I suggest one thing? Putting it on a block instead of just putting it straight on the ground? Does it just fall straight no, over? No, placing it, placing it uh, on there, like attached to the grid, and then detaching it with uh, the thing. Oh, the detach mode. Yeah. I guess that could work. These stairs are really not ideal. No, they're not. They're a little suboptimal. Um... Ah, keep changing back to my default welder location even though it doesn't work. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> uh, I think I just made half of my chat vomit, too. Oh. <laughs> yeah, the cup is too small like for this. It fell off from when you sat on it. Oh, that's <laughs> amazing. Hey, we have the cat again. Hello, kitty. So, I'm going to be face down when I get launched. <laughs> that only makes it better, right? Oh boy. I mean, we do have grabby hands. No, it's this is the way the seat wants to go. Oh yeah, I could... Um, hang on, let me, let me see if I can move the seat more centered with grabby. I forgot about grabby. I forgot about improvised experimentation. Also, lag. Is it because we're close to each other? No, I think it's because there's so many subgrids there. Yeah, that might do it as well. Yeah, that's close to the middle. All right, Shadow. Give me a countdown and launch me. I love how you say that with a smile. <laughs> okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Whoa! Oh. Okay, <laughs> much spinning. Too much spinning. <laughs> I should probably get oh. out of the seat, then I'll stop spinning. <laughs> but I kind of want to see how far I go. <laughs> oh my goodness, this, this is just getting... Okay, that was unpleasant. That was very unpleasant. I need to get out of the seat as soon as I launch. Let's try that again. Whoa, okay, that is fun to watch from far away. <laughs> I'm glad you find it fun. I find it terrifying. Well, I got launched. My body location, I think it's 2.26 k's away. Uh, huh.
Uh, what's the... What's the command with uh, improvised experimentation to hold it still? Uh, left click, I Oops. think? Well, I'm in the seat. May as well launch me. Uh, okay, well, three, two, one, see you next clip. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, that's a really I flat launch. Button, but... I bounced. What? Your I bounced again. Oh, right. And now I died. Horizontal velocity. Yeah, I was really, really horizontal yeah. then. You saw your own face. Hmm. I might want to be launched as well. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so, do you need a seat to be launched, or? Um, let me let me just try this quickly, and we'll find out. Oh, gee, okay. I am so tempted to press a button right now. You mean like this? <laughs> Look at those items! No! <laughs> You're wasting our steel plates. It's actually going slower. actually went slower, that was worse. What the heck? Why is physics breaking? I think I might know why. I have an idea. Oh dear. You ready? Point. Oh, that was real slow. Oh, yeah, I think I might know why. What do you think's going on? Well, I, I don't know if it's the actual reason, but the pistons are not happy. Yeah. They are... Oh, I don't even know how to describe it. Like, a giant group hug? Jiggling a lot, and that's taking some of the force out of it, yeah. I tried turning off inertia tensor to see whether that would bring it back. It's possible. Okay. I got, I'm, I'll check the piston settings. Like, can you see them wiggling? Yeah. Okay. They're. No! <laughs> 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 Thank you for the warning. Uh, you. Oh. Welcome. <laughs> I did save the group, didn't I? Yeah, I did save the group. Oh. Hi. So that was better, but it's still not. I'm still not getting any more speed out of it. I think we may have hit the point of diminishing returns. <laughs> Yeah. And we're not quite getting the range we need, the so the catapult might have to be scrapped. No. How about a space catapult? <laughs> I mean, we have our missiles and we do have the antenna mods so that we can make them fully printable. Mhm. Mm uh, so that's that's at least something we can do. I think the capac has spoken. Mm. We need to continue. I agree, it might be too many pistons. Yeah, I think it's I think the extra pistons are creating more jiggle, so it uh, it takes longer to for the force to kick in. Um And I think the way I stacked them was problematic as well. I am getting some pretty severe lag spike. Oh, well, severe lag spikes. Like, just yeah, that, some very calm freezes. The stacked pistons are not helping, I think. Yeah. 
All right. Hey, it's not my frames, like, that's above 60, but... I think I have to get rid of the extra 18 pistons that I just added because they have actually made it worse. Mm-hmm. Well, we learned from it. Oh, well, I assume you did. Um, so, I will go back to the 9, which shouldn't take me too long to set up. Uh, guess I could do 18. Sort of a bit awkward the way it's laid out. Uh, yeah, I'll just grab my tools and then we'll do some messing around. Whoa, 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 okay, careful, one step at a time, looks like I'm learning to walk. I mean, yeah, I could, I could have stacks of pistons on both sides that are more in line, so they're less likely to have weird mm -hmm. extra torsional effects. Ow. So, I have to say, usually lag doesn't fuss me, but I'm too scared to do anything. Okay. It is, uh... Alright, let's cut, let's just cut it down to nine. Nine wasn't causing you a problem, but this is, clearly is. Mm -hmm. Shadow being able to enjoy playing is more important than... Or being able to even play is more important than me messing around with subgrids. Oh. And if you want to know why, chat, it's because she'll murder me if I don't. You think that will stop me either way? I still need that skull of yours feel less likely. Although that actually did give me a, a uh, relatively grim thought. Ah! Oh. <laughs> oh. Ah! There's another way to do this. Oh no. Just have stacked pistons that just push. They just push you up to speed. They don't even try and push a swing arm, they just push. Like simulating the explosion in a gun. Yeah. And then oh, you can no. just aim the gun. I hate how I love that idea. Yeah, shot put. Exactly. Um, let me just clean this up and reattach it, and then I will quickly throw something something together that might be able to do that. But I'll do it in large grid. Oh, let me get this straight. We cannot fire guns because we have no magnesium, so instead we're going to simulate a gun with a explosive hydrogen tank. Yeah. Okay, cool. Inventory full. So... I'm thinking if we're using this, it needs to be large grid because we can do so much more with the pistons and we can get things moving so much further and more stably. Small grid pistons are less stable in my experience than large. And it's an excuse for me to build another large grid rover. Let me actually try reconnecting in a moment, it's uh... Okay, it's still bad. I have gotten rid of the things, mm. so... That point, wouldn't a rotor gun be more effective? Um... Arguably? I've always felt a bit iffy and felt like it's too cheesy when I use rotor guns. Because you're just messing with offsets. It is the same idea, though. There is a valid argument to be made that really, what's the difference? But I guess the main difference is that with a rotor gun, you get instant acceleration. 
Whereas with a piston, you do still have to deal with other weirdness. Which is to say, I'm not fully discounting the idea. I'm tempted. Fanta, how do you feel about rotor cannons? Neutral, to be honest. Neutral. Like, yeah, we're fair. not using it in a PvP setting, so... And it is another engineering challenge. I mean, I'm obviously not going to be firing rotor heads from the rotor cannon, because that feels super cheese. Fun, but super cheese. <laughs> like, if we were to do that, we need to make it look like a hand. So it's like just throwing stuff at them. <laughs> Why is everyone always so hostile to cheese? Why is cheese always so hostile to us? Fair question. Hmm. If if cheese is hostile to you, you might might need medical attention. Or lactase tablets. Hmm. Luckily, as a European, I don't have that problem. There are some Europeans who have it. It's less common, but there are some. What's going on today? I would be devastated if I had if I ended up with lactose intolerance. I drink mm -hmm. so much milk. Um, I'm too. making a catapult, and I'm contemplating other ways of making it beyond the way that I have made it currently. Well, like cheese, they it. cannot go without cheese. No, I'll, I'll test it on myself. It's fine. Wait, no, I'm 50% loaded in. <laughs> Wait for me. Oh, well, I don't have a choice because I fell off. <laughs> hey, M40. Hey, Mob Mob. Okay. And. Oh, wait. snow. That was really slow again. But, um. The bathroom has frozen over. Um, I hate it when that yeah, happens. Yeah, the voxel you have the voxel edits haven't loaded in for you yet. Hmm. Something very odd is happening with this thing. Something is stopping it from working properly. Something is resisting. You're off. You're off. You're off. So you're not blocking it. Oh, this is because I didn't set the distances. That's why. Right. That's why this didn't work this time. Oh! Jeez. Oh, it's flattened you? No. I think oh, I jumped out of the way just in time. <laughs> oh, goodness. You hopping up? Uh, you want the left side? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Launching in three, two, one, go. Ow! Did you die? Yeah. Oh, I went high. Real high. Like 900 meters high. Oh, did you get far though? Um. I mean, I got some distance. Not quite 1.1 Ks. So not really. Just well, once you range. bounced down the hill, you did. Disappointing range. You need a kiddie pool full of jello to land in at the end. Yeah, we need the back of the cup back in for these launches. Um. Hmm. But why don't we just use our jet bags? Where? Again with the lack of warning. <laughs> Where would the fun in warning be?
I am so tempted to activate the mechanism now. And he's gonna do it himself. Oh, that Danger. was more speed. Ooh. Yes. You almost went directly into the sun on my end. Oh, that was better. That was so I, much better. I think about shooting Splitsy into the sun sometimes. I don't blame you. Yes. And apparently he likes that idea as well. That worked so well. I... I, I don't think he can hear us. I can hear you. I'm just oh. used to you plotting my death, so it's not a thing that draws my attention. Oh. 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 <laughs> Ooh. Okay. So part of the know. problem was how floppy the pistons are. Uh, excuse me, Shadow. Uh, whoa! <laughs> okay. Oh, that was great. Boing. Okay, you ready? Jeez. This should be good. Hmm. I... I fell. One moment. <laughs> I feel like you need a less violent mechanism to reset the machine. Yeah, uh, Space Engineers doesn't really make that possible. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Without using scripts or anything. You put away your tools, yeah? Yeah. Oop. Okay, so... <laughs> May I suggest, once you get onto the flat area, jump up onto the hinge itself. No. Oh, that didn't work. That's a pity. It's a pity I can't pick you up Whoa. with an ex improvised experimentation. I'm glad you can't. And you should be glad I can't. So, did I come back? Fell off myself. Aha! You're up. Victory. <laughs> yeah, I've been, I've been jumping catapult. from back here behind the pistons and getting up that way. Need to build a catapult to catapult you onto the platform with the catapult so that you can use All the right. catapult. All three, two, I one, approve. launch! Oh! I died. Did oh. you die? Yeah, yeah. I, I am on the ground. Face <laughs> <laughs> through the floor. Let's try I don't even know why I bother healing up. Yeah, I think we I think we might have impacted each other there. It's possible. Probably, yeah. No, but, but, uh. It is funny how I'm just walking in a straight line and then suddenly I'm underneath the line Whee! I was walking on. Whoa. Now you can launch yourself. Oh. How rude. Now that's some distance. Bit of fun, you could get orbit. Uh. Yeah! Whoa! Ah. Uh. <laughs> How oh, did you do that? You, think... you died instantly. <laughs> I, I mean, I went up, but. Okay, uh, Shadow, if you stand just slightly on the slopey bit, and I'll launch you. Okay. Hey, Scalabion. Welcome, Raiders. Does the tank have more mass than Splitzy? Yes. Does that matter? Maybe, but possibly not. I don't know how... Ah! Whoa. Oh my god. <laughs> Hop on. Perfectly oh, safe. I almost got headed. Blammo. I mean, uh, Blammo. Ow. 
Oh, I don't think he likes again. me. Don't try again? Yeah, why not? <laughs> One last yeah, I time. think the lag does not help Shadow here. Mm. That ragdolling was pretty impressive, though. Mm. Thanks. This has got good distance best. out of you, ragdoll. Good height, at least. Yeah, I have an idea. Are you going to stand on the button this time? Yeah. Okay. Three, two, one. <laughs> Shadow instantly dies and now is stuck up in the air. There was no ragdolling that time. Maybe you need to make a little capsule she could sit in that you can launch. Well, we could, we could for our final launch today, Shadow, launch a seat with a battery and a gyro. Or a pair of seats with a battery and a gyro. Sure. You can probably put it together by the time I manage to get up there again. Maybe. Although I'm going to have to stand on this with the seat, because otherwise we're not going to be able to launch it unless I set a timer to do it. I could make a timer, actually. Yeah, let's do a timer. It'll be like a... We can rem Why do we need to set a timer? We can remote into this. Uh, can we, when we're in a seat? Should be able to. Because uh, unless it has an antenna. Hmm. I think a timer makes it fun. Yeah. One timer. Okay. Actions, groups, piston, reverse. I do like that we just have a conveyor worm over there. Or the east north, or oh, east southeast, I mean. Yeah, what is up with the conveyor worm? Mm hmm. Also, not. Can you make the, it? On the missile? Oh, it could be. Was that his mining rover? Hmm. Maybe? No, that was his mining rover. Oh, oh yes, your. That was your mining rover. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are correct. That is correct. How dare you say such a thing about them? Okay. I am merely the parrot that speaks their text. Alright, gyro overrides are on. And Can you get in one of the seats? This, this thing is missing something. There we go. Yep, I'm down with this. <laughs> Alright, if you're in one of the seats, cool. Alright, I'm hitting the button. Yep. And I'm hopping in the seat. Well, it was nice knowing you. We might survive this. Who knows? Uh, hmm. More! <laughs> This is perfect! <laughs> well, apart from the impending doom. That'll be fine. Mm, need some <laughs> thrusters on the back. <laughs> oh dear. Whoa. What the? Whoa, help. Our grid disintegrated uh -oh. and we survived. <laughs> We have an infiltration mechanism!
I don't know if surviving here is a good thing. <laughs> yeah, we're a long way from home. So, um... <laughs> Wait. It, it's an infiltration method as I long as no one sees the bright pink couch. <laughs> yeah, so whenever we are in a cockpit that gets destroyed, our jetpack activates, but it has no thrust. Right, 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 right. right. So it's just the hover. Also, you just face planted into the snow and full force and... Yeah. Yep. 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 Well, that shadow, I think, was a lot of fun. Yeah. As I said um, last week, I'm having so much fun with this series with you at the moment. For this. Yeah! <laughs> what the heck just happened to me? <laughs> I think I just tripped over your corpse. Well, on that delightful note, uh, it's time for Capac, TFE, and I oh. to go play some Enshrouded. Capac, TFE? Yeah. Yeah, I thought that was a plan. Cool. Uh, and Shadow, uh, I presume it's time for that you're wanting to be heading off. Uh, yeah, that is the plan. Yeah. Um, your... What a weird way of putting it. <laughs> Have you got more streams this week? Uh, I will be back on Fridays with Power World and even more Power World. Saturdays with not Power World, so some Space Engineers, and Sundays with this. Cool. Alrighty. Uh, well, uh, hang around because we'll be switching over to Enshrouded now. <laughs>